Hello, everyone. You ready for the vampire lovers? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. yeah. In this house, we wait patiently. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> you got it. Oh, yeah. 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 Hotness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for having us, Martin. My pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, Martin. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, my first time on this channel. Yeah. Mine too. Maiden voyage. I, I'm just kind of here. <laughs> you know, so I always look here. <laughs> I never left. <laughs> uh, we got Snotty Babe in the house. <laughs> I love that name. Uh -oh. Snotty Babe is one of my school friends, actually. So that's oh, awesome. Yeah. Oh, is she nice snotty? Yes. Awesome. I like that. We appreciate that. That's like a freaky growth requirement. You have to be snotty. Yeah. So true. <laughs> so true. We are the golden girls. We are the golden ghouls. Yep. The golden ghouls. I like that. Oh, yeah. you 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 need to watch our Halloween episode from last year, then. Yeah, those costumes were amazing. <laughs> It was a, it was I had fun. to make it on the fly, so mine's really shitty looking, but it was kind of charming in a way. Like it's not <laughs> shit. You did a really good job. I tried. That wig is like fucked up. Like no, I like the... I did my best to make it look kind of old lady. Like, I mean, hair. it's not like Sophia has the best hair, let's be honest. No, she's got the fluffiest hair. <laughs> she does. Yeah. Like I bet if you pet her head, it feels like a pillow. Like, yeah. Like, Every time I head. Wow. Every time she talks, I laugh. Yeah, she's the best. Oh, it was a ghost face, too. That's me. <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> so weird after that. I don't give no fucks. <laughs> you get that old, you don't give no fucks. Yeah. Exactly. No more room, no more room for the fucks. <laughs> My coffee. <laughs> Mm. Yum. Ben got me pumpkin spiced coffee. Ooh. Oh my god. That's you why. Are so spoiled. That's why they are the one. They are my one. <laughs> they are the my one. Everything else is like extra, but oh they are my one. <laughs> my wife loves the funky flavor coffees. I just like regular, boring. <laughs> yeah. Ben likes dark roast. He's such mm. a Mob. <laughs> he likes a very much I'm boring. Yeah. Dark roast. That's not boring. Coffee. At least have some regular coffee, man. Yeah. I do have regular coffee at times. So, I mean, I don't always have fancy coffee. All this right. Uh, this is a Halloween coffee. You get the country sunrise. Yeah. My All zombie right, I'm, brew. And, uh, Ooh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Got my hammer shirt. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I used to have a poster like that. I really did. Like, I had an old Dracula poster, and that was the exact image on it. That's cool. That's cool. I yeah, lost yeah. it. I, I lost love it hammer, but I have not nearly enough hammer stuff. I have mostly universal stuff. I feel like that. there's a void in hammer posters like if you ever go online and you look for like some good legit movie posters half of them are gonna have like the fold crease even though it's a reproduction because it's like some photo some dude in the basement took back in 95. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah like me probably <laughs> why is this so grainy Right. You know, I'm going to frame that and put that on my wall. Really? <laughs> yeah. Vampires suck. Yeah, you're funny. Dad <laughs> uh, joke. That joke. <laughs> That's a movie, remember? Uh, vampires suck. <laughs> it oh, is. I love, I love your bad joke. It's okay, honey. <laughs> okay. Isn't that uh, just giving you a shit to give you a shit? Isn't that like a really bad Twilight parody? Yeah. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever really watched it, but <laughs> oh, 
correct white yeah. outfit. And... He's playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Mario, are we allowed to swear on your channel? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, uh, fuck yeah. People not clean lines plenty of times. Shit, son. That would have been a really a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Did you want to tell everyone which versions we're watching in case they're following along uh, in the chat? Yes, I actually just posted the link to the version. Uh, oh, I've got good. Up on YouTube, but if you have Shutter or you have uh, a copy of it, that works too. I'm using Shutter. Cool. Have we started yet? <laughs> uh, we have not started yet, but uh, whenever you guys are ready, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. ready. <laughs> uh, I want to note that uh, I think um, one of the people who has the rights to distribute this film is uh, Scream Factory or Shout Factory. And if that's the case, if you have the Shout app, this may that's be in your Shout app for free. So check that out if you have the Shout app. Nice. I'm watching the blue Scream Factory Blu-ray. Yep, I, I own it, but I got to be down here to host the stream. So that's what I'm using. I love that you guys own those. I have a spike suddenly in my eye, and that sucks. Yeah. What the fuck, Queenie? I don't know. Oh, I'm so having funny. a rough time. Oh, Weather's boy. changing, and my conditions are flaring up bad. And yeah, so I'm a little fucked, but I'm here. I want to watch this movie, damn it. <laughs> fuck Let's everything! <laughs> Let's do this. Just ignore my All pain. Right. Uh, I just don't want to take that in fun so hot tug. Should we count down? Uh, yeah. yeah. Down. Hold on. I'm buffering. All right. De de definitely got to do a count down. It should fix itself in a second. Holy shit, how am I alive? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> He's playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> I don't know. Great question, anyways. Right. Yeah. It's mm. an important question. <laughs> I think that sounds like 2020, pretty much. Mm. Yeah. You know what? It does. You're right. That's the tagline. Cash right away, sleep. this is a hammer movie. Look at this. Hammer in association with uh, International. Oh, yeah. Come the fuck on. <laughs> Why? <Ooh, totally. laughs> I'm yelling at my computer, like, come on. They were You're, murderers from the Is it too much? Day. I mean, my internet's <clears throat> been shit lately. Okay, it's, it's loading. It's loading. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm ready now. I'm sorry. <laughs> fuck everything. I was just I'm pushing sorry. play. Uh, I I love this one. The vampire girl rises from the. Yeah. Oh shit! Have we started? Mm. Have we started? I thought Sorry. we were doing the countdown. <laughs> I, I, I was yeah, waiting for the countdown. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm about to count down. Are Are you ready, Sean? Yeah. All right. It's like a speed battle. All right. So I'm ready. Starting in five, four, three, two. One. Here's a tiger or a lion. Yeah, it's a lion. He's the cutest. <laughs> he is kind of cute. I played this Amorian card in the book in the book in the book. I pray forever. So you're at where the guy's writing his book, Von Hartog? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's just prayed forever, and we see the castle in the middle. The yeah. memoriam card. Yep. Yes. Yes. I memorized part of... I No, I'm lying. I didn't memorize it. I wrote down part of this guy's monologue. Uh, I'm being crazy. Did you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Ben's being chased. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. He's like... Oh, oh my God. Look at this set, though. It's beautiful. That's classic hammer. Man. It really is. It's so funny to me. They were murderers from beyond the grave. 
for this ruined cast. The good thing is, Hammer gets a lot of miles out of those sets. They make the rounds. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, they use them for like 10 different movies. Probably. Yeah, it's kind of fun to pick out which sets they're using for this, the different movies. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah, fun. that's fun. They built them to last because they knew they were going to have to squeeze two or three pictures out of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Poor blood. He kind of reminds me of Severus Snape. I see that. I thought it was the guy in Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Vampire is going as a Halloween ghost this year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would love it if she couldn't actually see through the shroud and she was just running into everything. <laughs> Tripping and falling into the mm -hmm. mist. <laughs> well, she tried to cut eye holes in it, but she folded it like Charlie Brown, so it didn't really work out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing, with just eye holes all over it. <laughs> like Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> got some scissors and... Uh. Charlie Brown should have played it off. He could have been like, no, I'm not a ghost. I'm beast with a thousand eyes. <laughs> oh, there you go. He wasn't uh, that clever, unfortunately. Queenie, you're, you're muted. <laughs> okay. You ever look at the costumes and you're just like, fuck, I want that. Yeah. <laughs> like I was looking at his ring. I was like, I want that ring. Oh, so sad. Yeah, yeah. A giant ass fucking ring. You know, <laughs> something I could punch someone with, you know? <laughs> oh, I love that. This guy's loaded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, we're in uh, a love you guys in the chat. Yep. We're about three minutes in. Yeah, I think he's in the graveyard, right? Uh yeah. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. No, he's going the opposite <laughs> direction. Because he doesn't know where you are. Uh, yeah, and I ran him for a bit. <laughs> what is it about the... <laughs> What is it about the blood in the Hammer movies? It's like so red. Like, yeah, it's very cartoonish. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> it is a little bit cartoon. Yeah, more, more paint than than blood, really. Right. Yeah. It, it, it's that dramatic blood. It's it's like what Argento uses too. I love how yeah yeah true red it is. I like the magenta Klingon blood. I miss that. I do too. <laughs> I mean, in Evil Dead, they were trying to, like, avoid a harsher rating, so they used just different colors for blood. They didn't care. Like, Deadites would have green shooting out of them for no apparent reason. Yeah. <laughs> <Right? Yes. laughs> Even black at some point. It's like, really? Mm. That's Byron a. There's a lot of black, yeah. Yeah. Take care. Well, they might... They might have did that to avoid getting an X rating or something. Like, oh, it's green. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what they were doing. Yeah. I mean, it's a super gory movie, so. Yeah, Shudder was it. definitely so annoying. Yeah, Shudder's a piece of shit sometimes. It really <laughs> is. Like, I wish it had subtitles. I, I have, like, problems hearing, so, like, I need subtitles. Yeah, I get but, it. Wait, did uh, they not have subtitles on 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 all no, the? No, they don't have an option for subtitles. I, I keep hoping uh, they'll do it eventually. Maybe I should send them a letter and be like, "Hey, I'm slightly disabled. Um, yeah, that's how about help me out, bro?" Oh, that yeah, that's fucked up, man. What if you're? Yeah. What if you have issues that you need to fucking have subtitles? Discrimination, right. Shutter. God damn it. Ah! Yeah. We are <laughs> it's almost. Ah, yeah. yeah, uh, first victim about. here. Yep. Um, 
Can you guys give me a time stamp? Because I had to switch over to YouTube. Uh, no! Uh, <laughs> off of the... that was my we're, we're in the middle of the, the, the opening <laughs> credits ish. Oh, foot's ahead. Mm -hmm. That was my girlfriend. John Finton, Harvey Hall for the credits. Uh -oh. I will avenge That's you. Okay. <laughs> I love the blood going down, dripping down the sword. <clears throat> I don't think boycotting and canceling is the answer right yet. Like, try to no. talk to them one to one, maybe, and then if like they act like dicks about it, which I don't think they would. I think if you like bring it up, they might think about it and try to figure it out. But I don't <laughs> think anyone's brought it up. Ever? Why? What's What's They've the been problem around with for Shadow? Quite a while. They don't have subtitles like Netflix. Oh, uh, see. Yeah, and I kind of need them. I have problems with comprehension sometimes, and I need to be able to. But that's me. Like every YouTube video, I watch the subtitles. You know, like if they don't have subtitles, I don't watch them. Hmm. Sorry, can't fucking understand what you're saying sometimes when your voice goes really quiet. Yeah. I love this really jaunty dancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. You need to the shouting subtitle guy for the guy where he just yells really loud <laughs> what the person saying. This guy directed a lot of the Hammer movies, Roy Wood, Peter. And there's Peter Cushing. Oh, oh yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck. The man. Yeah, he was cast late in the uh, casting process. Yeah. Right. General Steelsdorf. Mm -hmm. I kind of hate General Steelsdorf in the novel, but it's hard to hate him when he's played by Peter Cushing. <laughs> Even if he, even when he is a bad guy in movies, you still love him. I mean, look at him in Twins of Evil. He's horrible, but he's my favorite character in the movie. <laughs> That's dark, Martin. Yeah. The most entertaining. I don't know. I get it. I mean, Star Wars. Hello. Yeah. How awesome is he in that? <laughs> I mean, every... Frankenstein movie. He's terrible. He's terrible. Mm. He's a terrible human being. What'd you think of the uh, CG Peter Cushing? They snuck in uh, which Star Wars movie was that? They just uh, made? That was Rogue One. Yeah, they had a CG Peter Cushing in there. As they didn't it, didn't sound, it didn't sound anything like him when he talked. I'm like, what the hell? It, it looks kind wow. of like but like I mean, the people next to me who didn't know who Peter Cushing was were like, oh, that's a real person. And I, knowing who Peter Cushing was and that he was dead, I was like, that looks really fake. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I see that, all I can think is like Stingray or Team America or like some sort of marionette kind of like, <laughs> I think it's a computer, but it just it doesn't line up. It doesn't. No. Uh... Like a fuck puppet. I mean, it was pretty. It was pretty cool to see him, though. Yeah, it was. It was cool. I was like, oh, not near touching. This is cool. <laughs> Eventually, all our favorite actors will be in all brand new movies, and they're all dead. Yeah. The, these guys look like they're in the Sergeant My Pepper's Club. Dead. <laughs> they they're either dead or disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Un undead virtual actors. You know. Guys, I just want to tell you that with the subtitles on YouTube, whenever they say general, it's reading genitals. Oh God! <laughs> That's the best time of my life. Are they trying to make <laughs> this movie is already really sleazy? Oh, it's really it. braggadocious. 
I don't know if it's that or they just know me. Like, <laughs> she's not. She's not looking she at you. She's looking at <laughs> the, the girl. <laughs> Subtitles, right? Like the person who put the film up made the subtitles, or somebody submits them, right? I get uh, on but YouTube. I'm not sure how it works on YouTube. There is an automated thing, but then there's also people can change it and like tweak it uh -huh. and stuff. I love so. when people have gone to the length of making their own subtitles, but they also sneak jokes in. Yeah, I like that a lot. People make. Because I'm always reading them, so when those pop up, that's like a little joy. <laughs> <laughs> a little extra joy. What, what do you guys think of this uh, wicked Dracula dude? Yeah, <laughs> he looks like... He's yeah. like a Puritan Dracula. What the... <laughs> he's, he's I so... like that. A Puritan Dracula. <laughs> right? He's, he's, he's not at all. Wow. You know, I'm, I'm digging it. It's fine. <laughs> in, in the movie, in the movie, all he does is watch. Though he likes to watch. I I like to watch. <laughs> oh, look after your daughter, huh? <laughs> yes, this movie was made for. Oh, I'm feeling you. Absolutely, I agree. The mayor knows. The mayor knows all. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's omnipotent. He is. So she has yeah. like three different names. Marcilla, Mercala, and Carmilla. And they're all just anagrams <laughs> of each other. It's like she can't think of a separate name. She has to like, oh. do an anagram. She's not very shit. clever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, the the thing? Yeah. Right. It's it's like Dracula does the Alucard thing later. It's like that's literally just your name spelled <laughs> be more Yeah. Love <laughs> yeah. it. For real. Love the music. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm living for it. <laughs> Same. I want to get up and do the John yeah. dance. I want to wear pretty things and dance. Yeah, I would look so handsome it's, in one of those like ah uh, jackets. Oh. Yeah, you need like one. The roughly throat things, mm -hmm. <laughs> the ties. I don't know. The, <laughs> the right general jacket. <laughs> I like yeah, the I want to look fancy. I want to be a fancy gentleman. The little skip move they excellent. did early in dancing that was kind of something, huh? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, the mayor brings up the Dr. Acula pseudonym, which is also not subtle at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty hilarious. Much. Didn't even bother to change anything. Though. No. Just stick a little period in there. She was born, she was like born to play this role. Uh, Ingrid Pitt? Yeah. Absolutely. She's an amazing human yeah, being. Drink the booze. It will make you feel like dancing. <laughs> this girl, this girl is in *Lost <laughs> Through Vampire* too. Oh, yeah. nice! Look at all these dresses and sparkly things. <laughs> Love it. Flower oh, breeze. here we go. There's the red dress. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, yeah. I'm, I'm not at the same point as you guys at all. Is that like a? Okay. I think that in Bram Stoker's Dracula, the scene where like Lucy's wearing a red dress like that, I think that's a tribute to this. It could very right? well be. It could very I well think be. So. Yeah, he's Dracula right there. He's bringing yeah, that in. <laughs> I might be just like completely insane, but you are, possible. but you're not. Yeah. Right. yeah. I mean, oh, I see that. there's a ton of different homages in Bram Stoker's Dracula. There's even yeah. like there's like shining references with like the huge waves of blood coming in. And it's been so long since I've seen this, so I, I didn't remember that, and now I can be like, oh, <laughs> right, <laughs> oh, look at me, der. So, so would you say this is daylight right here, that, so she can go out in the day? Well, yeah, that that's a thing in the Carmilla book. She was written before Dracula and the movie versions of Dracula were even a thing, so she can just walk out in the sunlight, no problem. 
it's weird how the vampire lore sort of grows and grows and grows. It, it's it's crazy. It started out with like very very narrow uh, parameters, and now it's like oh, everything hurts vampires, and everything does this to vampires, and it's like holy crap, all the red tape. Oh my it's god, crap. there again. That's yeah. supposed to be a wolf, right? Uh, it's actually a giant black cat. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, love it. Carmilla turns into a cat, which I think is really interesting. That's yeah. pretty cool. It's a feline. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> My God, this is so great. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. You had a dream about cats. <laughs> That's such a good dream. What's her fucking problem? I know. What? Uh, like just enjoy have, like, it. Just fat enjoy women it. come through the freaking window. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Really, bitch? She's crying about it. It was a hard life. It was a hard knock life. A huge cat. It was a cat. For you, boo hoo. I wish I had problems like that. <laughs> Yeah, Shutter is constantly buffering. Mayor, do you just want a link to the, the YouTube video if that's going to be easier? Shutter is screwing with me. Yeah, it's, I'm doing okay. It keeps moment. buffering. I'm just going to keep riding this out. <laughs> See where it goes. Yeah. I like her hey, nice bonnet. Fuck up near the end. Who knows? Yeah. And it buffers. YouTube is free and it doesn't buffer. I'm going to post the link in the chat again just in case anyone needs it. Damn you, shut up. <laughs> and if you're following along at home, I'm at 18 minutes and 22 seconds. Roughly. Okay. You're ahead of me, shit. You're slightly ahead of me, but it's fine. I'm going to move wow. it. I like to be at the same point. <laughs> where, are you, where are you, Martin? Uh, I'm I'm at 18 minutes and 30 seconds right now. Okay, I'm on right on with you. I'm 131, so I'm just gonna stay there. I'm just gonna pause it for a split second so I can catch up. Um, poor mayor. I don't want to fuck with this. Is it motion right now? <laughs> Last time I tried watching this movie on. Because I found it on Daily Motion, I was like, maybe I'll try this. Like my, my entire iPad glitched out, so I don't trust it anymore. Oh no! Daily Motion is terrible. <laughs> What's up, Trenchy? Daily <sighs> <sighs> oh, Motion. Look at her. Look at her. Brother, you know, it's it's almost as good. He can't get it together. I want to wear that. Like, seriously, Peter Cushing is balls. Look at him. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's so sexy. He might do some Mac Daddy. All right, there's the link for anyone who needs it. <laughs> the link is in the chat, and he just sells anything he says. You know, I know he has conviction. There's no commands the screen. Yeah. Oh, look at I don't that make them like that anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's nipple like time. That. <laughs> That's a nice. She <laughs> looks good. Uh oh, right <laughs> very sensual. Ooh, yeah. girl. Yeah, and that's Ingrid Pitt's actual Polish accent, which is beautiful. Oh, I love that. I shall never leave you. Oh, my oh God. My she was getting right in those titties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it. funny. They had trouble keeping it together while filming those kinds of scenes because uh, later on, the vampire teeth, they kept falling out into her cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that problem. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Experience that. Super really. <laughs> very sad. It ruins the mood. <laughs> you can actually you get to uh, borrow some gum, some chewing gum from uh, one of the stagehands to keep them in, believe it or not. 
Oh my god. Get like a, get like a pool of line. saliva in there. <laughs> oh, dental cream use, is like, the best. Cream. That's yeah. what you gotta use. They'll stay in for so That's long. It. That's it. Love it's that. in there, it's in there. Yep. Yep. But I had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> 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 now she's gonna start dreaming about cats. Uh oh. God dang. She's just sleeping in because she doesn't want to change that litter box. I feel that. <laughs> That's a nightmare. <laughs> that is. She don't look too good, buddy. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, another amazing set. Yeah. yeah. You know what's you know what's funny is Ingrid Pitt said she doesn't see this as a lesbian vampire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> It, didn't she say she saw it as uh, two women that were really bored and didn't have anything to do but play with each other? What? <laughs> Something like that. that. That's what I read. I may or may not have checked IMDb before we screened this, but uh, that's that's what yeah. I read. Wow. So, uh, wow. So, okay. Take that for what it is. Uh, I guess there's nothing else to do out in the country. <laughs> I can afford it sometimes that's never occurred to me. I don't know. She's stomping around basement looking for things. She goes for guys too, but I think it's more to just to get them to do their bidding or whatever. Right, yeah. Slaves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prefers the girls, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Nice 99ing. Man. Big bedpost. Where the devil is she? <laughs> oh, you read the parents' guide She's for this on IMDb? It's not even made. That's got to be fun. <laughs> Hire real vampires. Yeah. Because that goes well. <laughs> I came here to give you bad news. You <laughs> <laughs> brought that tiny mirror. Oh, I am sorry, but she is too. Oh. You know, sometimes to lighten the mood, he likes to pretend like that ear listening thing is a little trumpet. <laughs> oh my god, Forbidden Zone. That is a movie that exists. It's also a Misfit song, too. Oh, it's great. Da, da, great da. And uh, speaking of Misfits, another Misfit song is Where Eagles Dare, which Ingrid Pitt was in. Yeah. yeah. It's Fun also an I Iron Maiden song. Iron Maiden. Yeah. yeah they're... <laughs> Fun little uh, <laughs> little in there. Mm -hmm. I thought you are bringing the facts tonight, and I love it. Dropping the fact bombs. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm muting myself because I'm eating popcorn. That's annoying. No, that's fine. I'm just enjoying the film, man. This is great. <laughs> uh, I love my classic horror. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm realizing there's four different names. There's Marcilla, there's Malarca, there's Mirkala, and there's Carmilla. They're all just anagrams of her name. Mm. Somebody had fun with that. Yeah, the Misfits cover of Monster Mash I have not heard in a while. 
that's a thing. Oh, great. That's the uh, Project 1950s album. Uh -huh. great album that is. Yeah, so yeah. Her, grave, her grave says Mercala Carnes. Yeah. My favorite thing, though, is that uh, the Misfits put out a like a, a Christmas EP, and they covered Island of Misfit Toys from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Nice. Well, the trouble with white horses is you're always taking them to the car wash. <laughs> yep. I like how they say it. Mademoiselle Perador. Yes. <laughs> Madame Perador. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, Mark. Kate O'Mara is also in the horror of Frankenstein. <laughs> It's like Little Red Riding Hood over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the basket of. Hey there, Little Red Riding Hood. You sure are looking good. <laughs> She's the worst. You're like, just okay. Good job. Run now. <laughs> okay, take your clothes off, sure. I don't think oh, she She just rolls down the hill. I don't think she was trying to escape. I know. Not that very kind of clumsy. So clumsy. Oh, I like to watch, watch. I like the way you bounce. bounce. I like to watch. Green jello. Yeah. <laughs> Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I, I love that that high pitched voice <laughs> is made for cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Everything goes down! He took a swan die. He took a swan die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is hardcore, man. My pride. My pride is hurt. I thought the road here was bad. Oh my and god, will you please place. watch over my little niece for me? Yeah. Very conveniently placed <laughs> there That hair, man, wow. Yeah, yeah. that hair. That's quite a costume. Part with <laughs> luck. Yeah, I love the costume design. Mm. It's really good. Gorgeous woman, Madeline Smith. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, Madeline Smith did not want to do nude scenes for this movie, so they told her that they would only shoot nude scenes for the Japanese release of the movie. <laughs> The funny thing. What? Yeah, that, that really worked out. Yeah. Wow. 
Um, they were all really nervous about the nude scenes. Um, Ingrid Pitt was somewhat okay with being nude, but the lesbian stuff sort of bothered everybody. So there was actually a piece of campaign on set with children and filming. <laughs> Believe it wow. or not. Wow. Which is, is kind of weird, but you know, it was different times back then. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not a lot of stuff like that had been done, I wouldn't think, at that time. So they're always trying to push the envelope. They really need that uh, titillation to sell the audience. Mm. Emphasis on the tip. Yeah. Speaking of titillation, uh, th there, you, there you go. Oh. Yes. <laughs> what great timing. So if you have children on Friday, uh, well... I mean, yeah. well, you know what you're getting into with this film. Come on. <laughs> it reminds me, I need to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she just covers up <laughs> around her waist. She's like, titty time, <laughs> like out, honey. Colors aren't a flavor. I know, right? <laughs> yes. Vaginas are too distasteful. Oh, fuck that shit. Oh my vaginas god, that's why they should be showing labia. I right want now. more vaginas how, in my life. We yeah. know how we the freaky girls feel about labia, so just say that's it. right. We're yeah. we are pro labia. So pro. And pro dong. Pro so pro. Yeah, I'm, I'm so pro male frontal nudity. If we could get more of that, it's uh right. You more know, dong, please. You can't hey, you know, man, you you can just some dong. Should right? not be the uh, folk guy. When he f fucking flashes himself to her and she starts laughing at him, like he's naked. Oh my god! That scene is amazing. That scene's yes. that it's seems so great. good. Yeah, it's the best. Just seeing how angry. Oh yeah, is. girl. Yes. Oh my god! Look yeah. at them chasing each other around the bed. This is great. Mm -hmm. It's so hot. <laughs> I can't even. She's so skinny. Movie is uh, so hot. Uh, mm -hmm. Why are vampires so hot? I can't even. I don't know if you've seen at, Helsing Ultimate. Look but at her like, eyes light up. At the end, <laughs> Alucard actually chain, changes Integra despite her being old. Because she's like, I don't know, almost 50 or something when he finally comes back. <laughs> and she's like, why would you want me now? You know? <laughs> and he's like, I'll still wreck you like Diana. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's so great. Oh my god, look who's in the chat. Who? Is it a lot of? Oh, it's a not lot even of labia. a lot, but I'm just wondering. A lot of, a lot labia. of labia. There yes, must be a lot of vagina sister. <laughs> right, we did some in the labias. Hey, labia. Alada, how you doing? At first, the governess is pretty skeptical of uh, Mercala. She yeah. soon changes her mind. Or someone else changes her mind. Yeah. She looks so good in that dress and that necklace. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. I'm in love. <laughs> Beautiful hair. I know. Well, beautiful everything. How old was she when she filmed this? Does anyone know? Um, I think she was in her 30s or something. Maybe. Maybe not. Not sure. They initially wanted a younger actress. Is this like a masturbation scene? Oh, never mind. I saw her hands. I wasn't sure what was going on there. Might as well be. Seriously. Yeah. She for sure had a sleep gasm. <laughs> Not this again. <laughs> oh no.
big as a wolf. Oh. Aww. Well, oh, that's the cat she's freaking out about, really? Really? This cat is so fluffy and cute. Fluffy and adorable. It's only two shots. My dad's going to be the one to You see, it's only Gustav. I love Gustav. Even that cat's a fancy ass name. <laughs> oh my god. That's it. It's just the shadow. I mean, how old is she supposed to be? She's acting like she's eight years old. <laughs> Seriously. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. <laughs> yeah, so innocent. Uh, she's supposed to be like a lot younger in the original novel, as is Carmilla. Yeah. They, they aged him up for reason in this movie. Well, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. can see why. It's just not playing very well with yeah. <laughs> the actual age. She's so pale and listless. <laughs> the goose ducks you turn she Yes. He's a need his own spin off. <laughs> yes, just the cat. I should use Gustav in the next Pet Cemetery movie. Oh, Gustav yeah. He, versus Birch. He'd be so cute. I doubt he survived this long, but you never know. Turns out Gustav was a vampire the whole time. <laughs> well, you know what? Then maybe he did survive. Yes. Gustav so is the slayer. <laughs> This guy's hair. Those sideburns. Holy shit, man. And what is that hair? He's got some lamb chops. It's very Amish. Yeah. You sent two pretty girls. He's like, hmm. <laughs> oh, so I got one of those picnic brand picnic baskets. <laughs> Yogi Bear is going to come out of nowhere and take it. I must. If I don't. <laughs> she is like a child. Yeah. I'm going mad. Manly kisses. <laughs> <laughs> hey, video creep. It's going well. We're watching the vampire lovers. What's up? Hello. I would give you manly kisses. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> is so Such manly kisses. Yeah. yeah. My kisses are manly kisses. <laughs> I have manly kisses, totally. I bet. Me too. <laughs> Me <Hell> too. Yeah. 
best manly kisses. Don't talk to me about men. <laughs> it's like she gets all this. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> like so oblivious that Carmilla has a crush on her. She just thinks that they're friends. Yeah. That sounds like me. Fucking oblivious. Talk like a old peasant woman. <laughs> Oh boy. So sensitive, such a good friend. <laughs> oh my. She just sounds like female Dracula to me. Like, like, hmm. she, she is the, the vampire aristocrat of the, the female variety. Hell yeah. Video Creep says he has the kisses of a dog. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Well, it could be good or bad, depending on your mood. <laughs> <laughs> That's the heck is Sappho and her friends. <laughs> no more of that. Nobody wants a lesbian. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to love me. If monkey shines in here, go. <laughs> I'm assuming Sappho and her friends are the thread of lesbian movies. Hey, Martin, did you watch in the uh, special features of this when she reads the Carmilla novel? I haven't gotten around to it, but the fact that yeah. there is Ingrid Pitt reading Carmilla. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Happy. Yeah, watch them windows. Damn. Oh. for oh, too. <laughs> so much. <laughs> oh no, she's just blind. Have a kind face. Yes. Oh no, you're so happy. <laughs> That's the other thing. I think there's a disease going through, like the the village wiping out people, but it's actually just Carmilla. Yeah, she gets hungry. You know, they yeah. think nice. it's hard. I am enjoying this though. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I am too. You can get me one of those bonnets. High fashion. Mm. I know, I want a night bonnet. Bring those back. Oh my god, you don't even understand, Ethel. I want to bring sleep caps back. That too. That's oh, like the guy had on earlier where it's like a pointy little hat? Yes, yes. Oh, well, they need to come back. Men need to wear those. Okay, look. I decided this a few months ago, and they people on Etsy make them and sell them, and I'm getting one. Ooh. <laughs> the mayor says, is it Carmilla or the Corona? <laughs> oh, God. A little bit of both. <laughs> My Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. I mean, I, I'm definitely... I definitely would hope it's Carmilla because then you just have dreams of being loved to death by a giant black cat rather than horrible stuff in your lungs. Yeah, yeah I feel You're that. Right. I'm okay with cat death. What, Wait, rather, did, I really, did I really just say that? <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. Hey. That's such a great... That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean it that way. Didn't mean it that way. <laughs> oh, this scene. This scene. She's show. Corona. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Same. She's a vampire. She's half a Oh, man. this is worse than carolers. Oh. <laughs> I think it's interesting because I've always assumed that it's like. Yeah, she really hates funerals, but. Uh, yeah. I've always assumed it's just like. Just like the, the Christianness of it bothers her, but. Someone, people have like theorized that it's her feeling guilty about her victims. More so. Mm. It kind of comes off that way, yeah. 
I never thought about it that way. What was that face? <laughs> oh man. I think we've all been here. So many tights. <laughs> I, I just love the image of Carmilla trying to read this romance novel and like, hating every second of it. Someone needs to yeah. make that mean. Get you a girl that reads you bedtime stories. Yes. Like one of those cheap romance novels with Fabio on the cover or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe it's not from her. Do you know? How many of these horrid dreams? Are they awful? Do you suffer? Tell me everything. Snotty babe. And it lies across me. Oh, and heavy. And I think it's fire in the world. And I run to fear. Uh oh. <laughs> Sounds really hot. Such <laughs> <laughs> of a well, cat. Son of a. <laughs> Didn't up think until I then, feel I this way. Was, up until then, I thought she was just a first time cat owner and she didn't know. All he wants is some Krispies. <laughs> That's right, it's called Queenie Todd, right? Yeah. <laughs> All the way. That's uh, how we roll. Oh. Love is pain. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. It's on now. We are explorers of the further regions. <laughs> That's far <laughs> regions. The Venus nether regions of experience. Libya time. Fuck yeah, Libya time. I'm excited. I'm sitting up now. Yeah. You better sit up. <laughs> I gotta sit up for this shit. This might yeah. be the only time you see this in a movie yeah. that's not porn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, the look on her face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kind of weird. <laughs> she just can't believe it, but she likes it. Yeah. She yeah. likes it. That's the other weird. thing about Carmilla is that she does not bite you on the neck. She bites you on the boob. Yeah, the Hall of Queen yeah, is yeah. Queen Todd. That's me. It's just, you know, you know my nickname during October. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a lot of uh, instances of vampires getting in on the, the cleavage region. Mm -hmm. The twins of evil is oh, a yeah. major scene where oh, yeah. why we're here. The twins of evil. Oh no! Fights are right in the boot. Run! Bitch, you're tripping. Bitter on the boob. Yes. Got cat fight fever. I 
Everything's all right now. Hey, Hobbs, how What's up? Good evening. Wow, she's used this fucking excuse before. I had the brooch conveniently in my hand. <laughs> she just yeah, has have like the dangerous brooch. Please take this. Ridiculous. <laughs> Jesus, it's out of control. Yeah, man. Talking about Friday night at the bar, like every other woman's got one of those big brooches by the end of the night. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You are mine, brooch. <laughs> this is the best scene in the movie right here. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is where she gets all the sex. She's the Babe Ruth of lesbian vampires. <laughs> yeah. She knows the drill. She's done this before. <laughs> I see you've played Knifey Spoonie before. <laughs> so I know what you Oh, want. shit. I love these kind of movies, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's yeah. Just, they're so... I just love them. They're pretty. Yeah. Or- yeah. It's a different time. They did they did things differently, and I like that. Uh oh, the classier era, as as we see frontal. Mm-hmm. Even even when they're doing trashy like this, like it's still yeah. flashy trash. It, it's yeah, but this yeah, part, but she. Uh, I like the way she's in the shot, the shadow like that. She turns the lights and the. Yeah. yeah, at least they tried something tasteful with the lighting. They didn't just like, you know, 10 lights, vivid video it. Right. Yeah. And it's really shockingly faithful adaptation of the novel, too. Oh, thanks, Hobbs. I love you, too. Oh, Aww. Aww. That's really Aww. sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been rough. <laughs> but it's October, so it's all good. <laughs> I'm in yeah. denial about my problems all of October. <laughs> Just do oh, Halloween boys. for the rest of the year. It's 2020. Who the fuck cares? Yeah, I should totally do that. Halloween for the rest should. of the year. Three months of Halloween. It's November Halloween. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I like to end the Halloween season through November 8th because you got like Day of the Dead in there. Yeah. Yeah. And November 8th is Bram Stoker's birthday, so I do a bunch of vampire stuff on that day, and then the Halloween season is over. Hell yeah. But this year, it's just not going to end. Yeah, no, yep, never. Fuck it. I'm, I'm but just I am mixing it in Christmas, because you know me. But yeah, it's you do you. not going to end. Right. I'll have Krampus stuff. That's me being festive. So. Hey. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I watch my holy trinity of Tim Burton Christmas movies every year, which is yeah. Burns, Edwards, and Hands, and Nightmare Before Christmas. Nice. I knew that was coming. Mm-hmm. Nightmare Before Christmas is like my favorite thing in the world. Oh, yeah. Right, oh, yeah. We should watch that live. Oh, we should. We should. I may, oh, have, to, yeah. I may yeah. have to skip that one. <laughs> I'm walked out of Nightmare Before Christmas in the theaters, and I'm not. Sean! Gonna... <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god! Whatever, bitch. <laughs> I walked out Fine. on that. Be that way. Whatever. You know what? The rest of us will enjoy it then. Fuck. We don't need you. <laughs> wow. That's right. That's how that works. <laughs> what is it the same? <laughs> It's the musicals, right, Sean? It's just not just just not digging the musicals. Not into musicals. Yeah, that's a big yeah. That's, that's fair. Definitely the main part it's, of they're it. They're not for everyone. I mean, I can't handle that music. Uh, the other movie is Batman Returns, Trinity. That one's set at Christmas. I love that's- the animation. The animation is fantastic. Yeah, it's beautiful. So good. That, that's a good movie for Christmas, though. I, I usually watch that one around Christmas time. Batman Returns. Yeah. Oh, Nightmare's, Nightmares, my Christmas Eve movie. Love that. That, and I don't like. I don't like them mixing Christmas and Halloween. It doesn't work. Yeah, I don't. Well, that's the whole point of the movie. It doesn't work, except it's also awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah. And at the end, you know, they realize that they, they have to keep them separate. But yeah. thanks for trying. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, Dan is like so pissed about Jack infringing on his holiday. And now every single year you're seeing Christmas stuff in stores in October. So he's a hypocrite. <laughs> uh, that's a good point. Sometimes before mm. October, it starts sneaking its way in. Yeah. Sometimes. At like uh, craft stores, they always do in like July, August. Right. But that's because crafters oh, like, you know, they do stuff in advance. Right. right. And they can also use the Christmas in July. Yeah. That one. yeah. You know, the, the Halloween well, stuff, here. they don't start this early. <laughs> Have you guys noticed that like Halloween is like so gone from the stores right now? Not because they're replacing it with anything but because people are like going psycho buying stuff well yeah they they need halloween right now yeah yeah and i love it but well, don't, for blame, it. don't blame christmas this year because what are the stores gonna do they don't have more halloween stock mm -hmm. yeah. God, i've seen yeah, so many yeah. spirit place spirit halloweens around i'm trying to like embrace the holiday because we had spirit. I, I'm bad for uh, for all the young children um, this year that, that don't get to really trick or treat. I know a lot of towns and cities have banned Halloween this year. At least uh, they have around here. Which uh, here it's kind of crazy. It's like one of the lowest cases in the entire country. Uh, like we've only had 140 deaths. It sounds like a lot. Until you realize there's like more like 600 or 700 deaths from the flu every year. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Kind of puts it in perspective when you think about it like that. But I just feel so bad that you know we can't have Halloween like we used to this year. That's yeah. it sucks. Yeah. Oh, and, and what Mark said as well, and in the Apocalypse is my new favorite Christmas movie. I will be watching that every year. It's um, I haven't I seen that haven't one. Seen it. Yeah. We should probably do that one. Yeah, we probably, yeah. maybe we'll do it for Christmas. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You got a warp sense of Christmas, dude. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the only way I survive Christmas. <laughs> it's like otherwise I fucking hate everything because it's all cheerful That's... and festive and Bullshit. You, know, you hate me <laughs> in November and December. I do. I, do. I love you. Get pissed you. Off, do you hard. get all pissed off when people are like all Christmassy? Like, if get they try to force me here. into it, yeah. But if they want to go and do it on their own, that's fine. But don't expect me to join you. Like, right, yeah, don't. <laughs> if you want to come to my dark Christmas land, then that's cool. <laughs> and, uh, the cool thing about Christmas. Christmas the cool thing about Christmas, I will say, is that we have a Christmas Carol, which is not only a Christmas movie, but also a horror movie, which makes it one of the oldest horror movies slash Christmas movies ever. Yes. I, I love I horror at Christmas It's time. scary, man. Yeah. A Christmas Carol is pretty creepy. I mean, it is pretty creepy. Ordinary right? Christmas ghost stories were a tradition, so Ooh, yes. that, that needs yeah. to be something that we continue. Yeah. Ooh, Mark, will you bring a Christmas Carol? Mm, maybe now, that's a a Christmas is in the public domain if you get the Alistair Sim version. So you could stream that video and all as your uh, trouble. Oh my god, that's, good call. I love that's the end loving it. Loving it. I, I, I want to hear Martin read it. I will, I will read it. Yeah, I would do that if I have time. I do, I do actually have special plans for a series of Christmas videos this year that I'm not going to do. No, you're right though. Christmas did use like traditionally they told ghost stories. It's in a song. Yeah. Victorian days was a mm -hmm. very different celebration of Christmas. The sensibilities were different. <laughs> Absolutely. Go have some ghosts in the mix. Everything's gotta be gothic. Damn straight. It's, it's how they were back then. They they were like, uh, if it's not Scottish, it's crap. Only if it's not Gothic, it's crap. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. You yeah. get me. <laughs> you fucking get me. You ever see the uh, the one with George C. Scott? That's pretty damn creepy. 
I think I've seen all of the versions of the <laughs> Christmas Carol. <laughs> There's like a million different. George C. Right? Scott is yeah. really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you see the BBC one last year? That one was depressing. Yeah, I did not like it. No, yeah. not a fan. I get what they were going for, but I don't think I liked it either. It's a little, little dark in tone. Mm -hmm. Actually, the Disney one's pretty fucking weird. Uh, which is uh, like Mickey, animated? Like Mickey Mouse. Uh, sorry, no, I meant like the not new. Well, maybe it's like ten years old now. Um, like the like the the motion capture one with Jim Carrey. That one. yeah. Oh yeah. It's pretty bizarre, man. For a cartoon. All right, what's happening in the Vampire Lovers now? We just got off on a Christmas tangent. Oh, sorry. That's because <laughs> I'm the, here. He put the cross on her. Yep. She's got the pretty blue cross. And now they got the uh, the garlic plants. What are they? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing talking about Christmas and the Halloween season. I usually yell at people for doing this. <laughs> well, we're we're uh, it's, we're not just we're not talking about like holly jolly Christmas. We're yeah, tying yeah. it into Halloween. Yeah, we're talking about <laughs> horror. Yes. You can blame it on me. I invoked the Dickens. It's my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's I fine. Now I like it. I, I, I forgot. It's like a spell you cast, and it's just like everything becomes Christmas talk if you bring up Christmas. Carol. Yeah. People are, uh, Trenchy brought up Muppets Christmas Carol, and then brought up Muppets Treasure Island. So now, my question is, what horror movie do you want a Muppet version of? Oh God, <laughs> Dracula. Okay, Let's have it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the vampire look the vampire lovers. The vampire lovers. <laughs> I'm loving this movie. What? I can no, see that was like Miss Piggy and Scooter's sister. Like Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah, I don't I would... wear his outfit, for instance. Like, look at this guy. He's oh, so yeah. fancy. Very fancy. And his white gloves and his oh. Fucking Did their killer. other guy have one of the like those classic vampire hunter kits? I'm such a Is that what he I was up to? I, I want one. I really want one. Oh my god, I would freaking die for one. I've been looking for one for so long. <laughs> like that's like, Peter, Vin like Peter Vincent. <laughs> Peter Vincent style. Yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. If it, just, if it comes with a coupon for a pork chop. Like that's the only way it's an official kit. Yeah, full you Castlevania, full Castlevania style. Nice. Hmm. Would you eat a pork chop that came out of the wall, though? Only if I had to whip it to set it free. Love the dream warriors, I like that. You gotta whip, you gotta whip it, and you gotta whip it good, though. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. When a pork Puppet chop Hellraiser! Up. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, Snotty Babe, the, the episode you're thinking of is the one that guest stars uh, Vincent Price, I think, because he was on The Muppets. That's right, yeah. <laughs> this guy's screwed. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Guess who? Oh, yeah. Oh, when he told me it's the first time. When I go to the MP. There was so much, like, vulva outline in that shot. I love that shot and of her and the reflection in the water. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Ooh, that shot. Hmm. Oh, she didn't have a titty to bite that time. Yeah. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah, she was just had the gold school neck. Yeah, that was just work for her, I think. It was just a one off. 
Yeah. It was. She was. At, she was at her job for that moment. Mm-hmm. She's a massive lesbian. Just picks off the guys right quick, you know. Yeah. It's it's the opposite with uh, Christopher Lee's Dracula. She's like ridiculously straight. Both like, these Dracula would bite guys. Uh, Christopher Lee's Dracula just decapitates the guys with a shovel or something. Mm. Yeah. I I feel like vampires in general always have um, some gay tendencies, whether they be male or female. Right. I I think so too. Generally, I think like or the pa- they're pansexual, perhaps. Yeah, I think the mayor brought that up earlier. I think uh, especially with the the Anne Rice vampires, they are yeah. all yeah. Across, all across the board. Uh, Big time. I, I usually look at vampires as it just amplifies whatever you were in life and turns all into bloodthirst. I just think of them as needing the blood to survive simply, but they use their charm and their suave and their good looks to reel them in <laughs> but it's all about getting the blood at the end of the day you don't yeah, care so if it's a it's man like, or a woman or what yeah i just think it comes off as homer homoerotic a lot of times which is totally fine with me yeah. oh my <laughs> god Johnny babe wants a movie where sattler and waldorf the two hecklers kill all the muppets and then <laughs> they have their own movie I could see that. <laughs> that would be amazing. The maid's bonnet is out of control. It is. It really is. She's got some extra small version. She looks like she'd be gorgeous too if she took her hair down and looked all dressed up nice. Well, the nice thing about that bond is if you sit it on top of your head and straighten it up, it can double as a chef's hat. <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't live in Victorian times. I don't think I'd be able to keep a straight face. All these tall hats. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I, just, I, I, know, I, would, I think I would enjoy it. Be like, I, I just want all the clothes from the Victorian era now and none of the social restrictions. <laughs> there you go. Well, I'm good with the corsets and the dresses. Set. Like that I'm, I'm down for. But I, I'm just, <laughs> That's why Sean likes it. <laughs> There's literally titties spilling out everywhere. <laughs> At every turn. Warm, so that didn't work for me, but... And the cod pieces, and you know. Yep. Queenie, you gotta get you a fucking weird Victorian outfit. I need one. Uh, I think you do. Should we start a GoFundMe? Yes, please. Yes, you know, okay, we will. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> but the women have the tight body sting. Looks like they can't even breathe in that. Thing. Right. I think sometimes people exaggerate how much like they weren't able to believe, but yeah. Well, if you look at uh, skeletons of uh, Victorian women in the day, their rib cage is actually angled down more because of all the corset and bias. War. A lot of bias. Yeah. There was a lot of binding happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Um, it's sort of like in Asia where they had the foot binding, which was a big thing over there. Yeah. And in certain parts, it still is, which is kind of weird and uh, much more damaging. Right. I mean, there are still people who wear corsets, like, on the regular, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, there's some people that do uh, corset training where they try to get that hourglass shape so they just oh, yeah. it in religiously. Yep. I know people who do that. Hey, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Yeah. No, that's fine. But I feel no, like it's what? rearranging your organs or something. Like, <laughs> is there room in there for everything? I don't know. Let me find room. <laughs> Uh oh, they're at Karenstein Castle. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. We used to wear a waist trainer car. Yeah. But I went through a phase. <laughs> oh, Lord. Felt oh, like shock, shock of evil. <laughs> it's like when you open that letter and it says you've been called for jury jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good gore there. Then. Yeah, it's pretty wait, impressive. Wait, what? Snotty babe, there's a Fright and Prejudice and Zombies laundry set. What? Yes, please. How did that work? How can I get this guy to do my bidding? It's got permanent scowl. Mm -hmm. It's those eyebrows. He must be so sick of everybody saying, Is everything okay? Are you mad? <laughs> do, do you need help? Sure. Is there something wrong with your order? <laughs> She's a wicked woman. So wicked. Ooh, so horrible. <laughs> oh, he just arrived. Oh, well. <laughs> Wants to bite his ear and shit. <laughs> yeah, I like how uncomfortable he is at first. <laughs> it's like, screw it. <laughs> Uh, Matthew Duffy wants links to everyone's channel. I will put that in the description at the end, but if anyone wants to link their channel, feel free. Okay. If everyone just says something in the chat, you can uh, <laughs> click on the little dot. Little three dots on the right. <laughs> I did what had to be done. There I am. <laughs> See, I still think this is a classy vampire. Yeah. Doesn't go to the point of sleaze or 
as they would make it sound in descriptions. Right. Mm, right. And I was titillating. Sorry. Yeah, it's it's right on the cusp. If they pushed it any further, it would be sleaze. But it's it's still a fairly classy movie. But they showed plenty of skin, but they didn't go too far. Like, oh god, the, the mayor has just brought up "We Are Matthew" again. We have to like, oh. that, now. <laughs> that was the best time of my life. <laughs> this, this hasn't been like uh, I'm trying to say this hasn't been like that time I tried to watch Sorceress and found out it was just softcore porn. I just, I, I didn't know. I was ready to know. Right. That's that's the thing about a lot of the like, like the seventies horror movies. They all have these like really elegant looking gothic vampire colors, and then when I'll read the synopsis for the film, and it's just porn. And I'm like, dang it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wow. I th this is this is literally porn, except I'm not seeing any uh, you know twig and berries in it. It's just. Everyone else, though. Zero. I was a surprise to me. But, you know, as, as Hammer went on, they certainly went more towards that area. Yeah, I mean, look at Twins of Evil. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Bringing in the Playboy Twins. They, just, yeah, they, they threw out like a lot of the original script, which was going to be more of a linear follow-up to the last two films, just so they could put the twins in the movie. Mm -hmm. There's money in them there, twins. Now I must strike. <laughs> oh yeah, that's smart. Get rid of the plants. This fucking guy. Chump. She's just like, your hair is so crunchy. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> Ew. Fuck you. You suck. Fuck you. She's gonna fuck him up. Uh oh. Don't get too excited. You're not gonna be around. The guy's just disappointed that she didn't fight him in the boob. I think you're right. You definitely need to see this if you like Carmilla, Matthew. It's probably the most faithful adaptation of the book. And I'm addicted to Carmilla adaptations, so. I imagine you've seen uh, Blood and Roses. I haven't actually seen Blood and Roses yet. I know that one's supposed to be really good. Uh, I've seen... Yeah. Uh... Crowd's gone, buddy. Yeah, the other adaptation I really need to see is Crypt of the Vampire, because that one has Christopher Lee in it, I think. Ooh. I haven't seen that. Yeah. Well, anyway, this cop, so, uh, 
of the blood of at least one victim. she take her too, damn it. (laughs) There's room for three. (laughs) Room for one more? Like, no car, it's only a two-seater, bye-bye. (laughs) Kind of sad, I felt bad for her, though. Take me with you. Not today. To me, this is like the female equivalent of the scene where Dracula throws Renfield down the stairs and Dracula. Mm. Yeah. That's good. That's a good point. I never thought of that. Yeah, because she's like just been doting on Carmilla this entire time. Like, please take me with you. I will be your faithful mm-hmm. servant. And uh, Carmilla. Yeah. Treats are like dirt. Because goddamn it, vampires. Yeah. I like how here they do that classic uh, disappearing uh, trick there. What if I'm about to That's a knife. That's not actually a cross. <laughs> but it looks sort it doesn't of like matter. It. Right. Yeah, I do like her reaction. I like her reactions to the cross in this because usually when it's a hammer movie, they'll just hiss. She she looks like truly devastated. She looks sad. Uh, she does look sad. Oh, she vanished. Satana. He turned her invisible. What's in it? Um, Rusting Willpower used that trick in one of her videos. Did you see that? I missed that. Like, that's pretty cool. How'd you do that? <laughs> yeah, that is cool. Yeah. Shout out to Rusting Willpower for drawing the channel icon I use right now. That's awesome. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's what you're painting. You keep staring long enough, the ghosts are going to come out looking for that golden cross. Yep. In the book, they they find this uh, this picture of Mirkala like really early on, and they're like, "Wow, that looks a lot like Carmilla." And yeah. uh, Laura, the Emma character here, is like, "Hey, can I keep this post uh, this painting in my room?" And it's just like, "How do you not know that's that person?" <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
If there's a bunch of red liquid in there, I'm out. <laughs> She's in for it now. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, old chapel with cobwebs or. <laughs> yeah, we're we're getting into the how crosses actually work chat in the chat. Love that. Yeah. Well, it's weird because there's some lore where they only work if you believe in the object. Right. That's, that's, that's a great it's a, yeah, it's a you have to have faith for that to work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've tried writing vampire fiction and in mine uh, nobody actually knows why the crosses work because like the vampires are like, Yeah, I'm an atheist, I don't believe in anything, yet this cross still still repels me. Don't ask me why, I don't know. I like that in idea. Uh, you gotta have faith for it to work. Yeah. In Hammer's uh, Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires, um, they go to China, and in China, Buddha works instead of the cross because everybody believes in Buddha there. Versus Kung Fu, Kung Fu yeah. works too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That right, right. The had a lot of gratuitous boobies as well, but not so much to not make it to make it trashy. So, mm -hmm. another connection there. Right. I I still want to see that one. I know it's one of the ones where Hammer jumps the shark the most, but. I actually love that film. That that has a soft spot. In, I have a soft spot in my heart for uh, Seven yeah. Golden Vampires. I love that hammer film. Yeah, I'll it's definitely. Fun. It's fun to watch. It's fun. Yeah, I'll I'll be buying a copy of that at some point because I'm trying to collect all of Hammer Vampire movies. So fake. It's hard to get yeah, a good copy of that. Uh, I had a copy that's a dual copy with Frankenstein created woman, and unfortunately, that <laughs> version doesn't work. Uh, just <laughs> work. No, no. There's no, uh, there's no other way. <laughs> That might be one of the worst decapitations I've ever seen. It's not worse than what we saw in Veronica last night, is it? <sighs> no, nothing's actually worse than Well, this is pretty bad. Actual levels of decapitation. <laughs> but why did they put the steak in her, like, her fucking stomach? Right. That was nowhere near her heart. Bro, well, the original idea with staking a vampire was just to keep it nailed to the ground so it wouldn't get back up again. Yep. Okay, so was so that like true? Or was that? I think so. to a woman is, vampire is through her stomach. Right. Yeah. Again, this it's is just a the midsection area. Right. The, again, this is pre-Dracula lore, so the rules weren't set in stone. Carmilla can walk around in the daytime, and she turns into oh, a okay. Mm -hmm. There's oh, another I, I don't like that the, the portrait changes. Oh. It's weird. I love it. I, I kind of like it, but it's also weird. It's super weird, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen credits in green. I know. It's kind of uh, weird. Right? Different. Well, maybe I have, I just, but not this kind of green. This <laughs> I like, like that. Salad yeah. green. Uh, yeah. Those fangs and everything. Like it's you pretty wait, out of place, too. You know, you know. The cast on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I love, love it. I love it. Yeah, I love that the creepy Dracula looking guy is just prejudiced man in black. <laughs> oh, I didn't even. 
Oh, first right. vampire. <laughs> oh, the name. Second young man. First young yep. man. Mm -hmm. The village girl. Like the girl in what horror of Dracula, like she has a pretty big role and they only call her vampire woman. <laughs> <laughs> like she doesn't have a name. Sounds like a song. Vampire woman. Fuck yeah. Vampire woman. Nice. That was the Vampire Lovers. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yep. I hope everybody loved it. Oh, yeah. It was pretty fun. That was a fun time. Yeah, yeah. It's very groovy. Mm. Very groovy indeed. Yeah. Take care, Snotty Babe. I, I will probably stick around and just chat for a little while. If anybody else wants to stay, feel free, but... I got to go, but yeah. thank you for having me. My pleasure. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> me too. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye. Danny. Bye. See you guys later. Bye, guys. I got to go, too. I got to go to work tomorrow morning. <laughs> ah, all right. Uh, thank you for having me. Martin, I'll, I'll okay. be in the chat. I'll chat with you. All right. Thanks I'm for having, having me, guys. Night. Night. Bye. I got no place else to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Kim. Hello? Kara? Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. Ah. Yeah. Just checking. Yep. Yeah, so, what what are your thoughts on this movie overall, in terms of like, in Hammer's like whole catalog? Where does this rank for you? Uh, I'd rank it like a like a five. I put it as a five. I mean, it's not it's not the greatest, but I mean, it's not a, it's not a dog. I mean, I liked it. Right. I mean, so, I might be biased just because this is one of my favorite vampire stories, but this is my favorite Hammer film, personally. Well, it's a good adaptation. Yeah. Like, I'll give it that. And, um, I don't know, I was just, uh, I'm interested so much in the behind-the-scenes stuff. Like, when I was reading about it earlier, I just... I found it fascinating that they had that much of a problem with the uh, lesbian scenes and the nudity, uh, save uh, Ingrid Pitt, who didn't really care about the nudity as much. But mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what about you, Kara? Where 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 does this rank for you? I haven't seen enough Hammer films to have a favorite. I've seen a few of the Christopher Lee Draculas. I've been through the Peter Cushing Frankensteins. This one I've probably seen only twice, so I, I still need to work my way through everything else that Hammer's put out. Right, that's understandable. I still haven't seen everything Hammer's made, and I love Hammer, but they they were really prolific. They made a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I'd like to recommend The Gorgon if uh, either one of you hasn't seen that. That's a great Hammer film. I freaking love that movie. That movie is so much fun. Uh, the actual Gorgon hair doesn't look great, but er the story is awesome. Oh, I, I love it. People turning to stone in my... I mean, how can you not love that? Yeah. I mean, come on. It's a Hammer Medusa. Mm-hmm. Uh, another one of my favorites is Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll. That's one of my favorite Jekyll and Hyde adaptations because they pull a switch where Hyde is the handsome one, but he's like twice as evil. Well, that's the way it usually goes. It's the the pretty one that pretends to be the alpha, but they're total turds. Yeah, exactly. Now, was it Hammer that did Dr. Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde? I'm having trouble remembering who did that. Someone did that. I can't remember who did that. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde, the one where, yeah, yeah, that, 
Uh, that one was, uh, yeah, that one was Hammer. I haven't okay. watched it, but I'm going to be watching it in a couple of weeks. Oh, like on a watch along? Uh, not for a watch along. Uh, the YouTube channel Girly Horror does a horror movie club every month, and for October, she's doing Hammer Horror Movies. And one of the movies we're going to be watching is Jekyll and Sister Hyde. And then we're going to discuss it on a live stream. So that's going to be fun. Oh, cool. I have to check that out. Yeah. And yes, Mayor, I need to check out more Amicus movies. I love The House That Dripped Blood, which also features Ingrid Pitt as a vampire. Albeit a much cheesier vampire than Carmilla, but it's a good time. <laughs> And not to be confused with the house that bled to death, which does not star Ingrid Pitt or anybody else of note. To just, just, just skip that one. Just, just skip that one. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a, a movie. <laughs> I've never heard of it. Yeah, you, you're lucky. You're lucky. Also, uh, skip Evils of the Night if you ever get it. Just skip it. I know the cover looks awesome. It's got the, 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 the. Uh, Millennium Falcon on it and stuff. Just skip it. Just, just trust me. Just, you don't want to go there. Yeah, I mean the the trash movies usually compensate with by getting a really awesome person to design their poster art, so people will come and see the movie. Yeah, you know I'm guilty of just buying shit because it's got a cool cover sometimes. And yeah, I, I do that a lot, especially if I like the title. If it's some wacky named thing. Mm-hmm. You end up with a lot of turkeys that way, but, you know, it, it is yep. the game. Yep. The thing I do on my YouTube channel is I like buying those really big uh, just boxes of, like, 40-pack of horror movies that Echo Bridge likes to put out, and I'll just review all of them and then rank them to see if it's actually worth buying the Echo Bridge box set, because... There's like a bunch of public domain stuff, but then like some really cool indie stuff that I found. You're guaranteed a copy of Night of Living Dead and White Zombie and, and, <laughs> and possibly House on Hounded Hill for sure. Oh yeah, I, I own like five copies of Night of the Living Dead on Echo Bridge box sets alone at this point. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous how much Night of the Living Dead I own. It's, I, I don't even know how anymore. Yeah. Uh, Where? I, yeah. Actually, yesterday, I watched the 90s remake of Night of the Living Dead for the first time, which I really yeah. enjoyed. The first time I saw that one, I thought it was hilarious. I was laughing the whole time. Well, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of great little nods and jokes in that. There's even like a when they introduce Tony Todd, he's got like a crowbar or something, but they they pan down to his hand and it's like coming out of his sleeve and it's like a, a subtle little Candyman joke with the hook hand thing. Well, to me, it just had a bunch of weird little funny stuff. Like I know there's this one scene where I think a, a zombie gets its hand hacked off and he's trying to pick it up. And then another zombie walks by and just takes it away with him. <laughs> I missed that. That that's actually hilarious. Uh, I love that. Uh, I forget the character's name, but he's the guy who wants to stay down, stay down in the cellar because it's the only safe place, and he won't let his wife out of the cellar. And he mm -hmm. just starts screaming at everyone and calling them yo-yos, and it's really weird. All these windows. I, I know that guy from the other film, but I, yeah. I, I can't get enough of that. How can you protect everyone with all these windows? Look at all these windows. Look at the windows. <laughs> yeah. Windows. Says it weird. I don't know. But never uh -huh. not. Enough. Well, you could always go with uh, sleeping with the enemy. Don't you be looking out the window. <laughs> yeah. Who's looking in my window? <laughs> Y'all play nice now in here. <laughs> uh, so I don't think, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, 
I don't know. Uh, Sonny Babe, Candyman is an, an excellent film. It's not. It's not just a black man attacking white women. It's there's a lot more nuance to it than that. I, I can see why people have a problem with that, and it can be problematic on some level, but it is a really well-made, well-thought-out film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've actually never had a copy of it. I took advantage of Shout Factory's Shocktober be- to finally get it. So mm-hmm. I'm excited for that to show up. I like all their extra features that they that they include. Absolutely. Uh, one of my friends was nice enough to to send me a copy of Candyman that he didn't want anymore. So, yay! Awesome. Do the bees bother him? Ah, uh, the the bees bothered me about that film. The bees bother me. So like I like I right. I, I, I like Candyman, but I don't own it because of the bees. Right. Uh, I used to be a lot more bee phobic than I am now. I, I've had some really bad incidents with bees and wasps and I, I just hate them, but that's part of why I love uh, Candyman is because it gets under my skin a little bit. It's really mm. it's really effective to me. That's that's like me and shark movies. I, I can't swim for anything and I have a fear of anything that I can't see if the water isn't clear. Oh, so Jaws must really freak you out. <laughs> yeah, it's especially those screenings that they do when you're in the lake sitting in your little tube and they oh, send God. people in their little scuba suits to scare the audience. That's pretty cool, though. Wait, where is this? Uh, some places do it, like out on the lake where you've. it's kind of like a drive-in, but you're sitting in your tube instead and... Your screening jaws. That sounds awesome. I've never heard of that. That sounds really cool, though. Yeah, I've seen uh, photos of it, but I've never done it. I, I want to watch a movie in an inner tube. That'd be great. I, mm-hmm. I'd look like a prune at the end, but that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> On the downside, everyone's drinking and everyone's marinating in urine. Ew. Oh. I was yeah. there until the urine. Me. Think about I'm, the urine. I'm I'm weird enough to always go the gross route. <laughs> well, it's a it's a lake though, so it's 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 not like it's a pool where you're 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 in an enclosed area of 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 seventy percent pee. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it like goes somewhere downstream. I should hope. I think. Yeah. I heard you have to come over here and check it out and <laughs> take a whiff and see what you came over here because you heard you Oh my god. <laughs> he's he's in and out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome everyone to the Golden Showers chat. Uh <laughs> we're talking about pe- no. <laughs> no, it's we won't be rain, no, no. Hallelujah, it's a rain in your you're in. <laughs> uh, this is de evolved fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I've I've contributed to this. No, it is fine. It as is long fine. as we're not making poo jokes, it's not that bad. Oh no. Yeah, let's not go that route. Yeah, let's uh, draw draw the ear uh, the uh, the line at urine. Draw yeah. the urine. Line. Just mark some territory. Oh God. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking of maybe watching a little something else just now that we've done the movie because I saw not too long ago that Later this year, there's supposed to be another adaptation of Carmilla coming out. Ooh, I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, it's like really flown under the radar, but it it looks really, really good. So uh, will you be able to click on a link to it if I post uh, a link to the, uh, the video in the chat, or should I just send it to you message-wise? 
If you tell me what the title is, I can type it into my computer and I can just. It's in your chair. I'll find look up, yep, look up Carmilla official UK trailer. Uh, hold on, you caught me grabbing my charger. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Official UK trailer. Oh, hey, bruv. And oh, Carmilla movie official trailer. It's pink, like neon lights on the. Oh, that that is that is a different Carmilla movie, and I will I will talk about that in a minute because that that is a that is a tangent I need to to go off on. But I I don't see any lesbian vampires, Anthro. I'm severely. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say we went from neon green, as Mr. Rick pointed out, to to this bright pink, but never mind. It's it's uh, Carmela in Vegas. Yes, that's right. Uh, yeah. I remember. Yeah, remember when the leprechaun went to Vegas? Oh, that was I, horrible. I watched that movie with. I, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Wait, he's in Vegas now. Last I saw, he was in the hood. Man, no, the hood? Yeah, twice. What's part of the hood? <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me see. Is it the Carmilla official UK trailer 1.39? The time on that? Oh, there's the I, bright one. Yeah, there's that pink one. That's that's the one. It's it's, oh. it's right under the bright pink one for me. But uh, I just posted the link in the chat for anybody who wants from there. Excellent. Uh, Carmilla season one. Oh. Yeah. That's definitely not it. That's Cardi B. That's 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 not it. Uh, never mind. Yeah, there's. Uh, I I will get into. Uh, yeah, there's a Carmilla YouTube mini series which I need to talk about in a minute. But yes, oh, uh, the mayor. Uh, Thirty-nine, right? What now? One minute thirty-nine for Carmilla. One minute thirty nine. That's right. Perfect. I got it. I got. I got her. I found. I found Carmilla. Yep. Take care, Snotty Babe. Nice having you here. Like, is it just me, or does Carmilla sound like it would be a great name for a caramel based candy bar? Yes. Yep. Caramel. Caramel, <laughs> right? But the caramel is like hot pink. Oh, <laughs> wasn't that, wasn't that Arthur's girl? Right? The tick. Might have been. Does anyone remember the Tick animated series? Maybe not. Uh, I love the Tick. I haven't really gotten into like the one that was on Fox, right? Fox Kids back in the day. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fox Kids with yeah. Beyond and all that stuff. What are we talking about now? Cartoon. <laughs> oh. All right. The Tick went from Carmilla to the Tick. <laughs> I don't know how, but we did just names. Uh, well, hey. Blood sucking ticks suck blood. I mean, the tick doesn't, but but yeah. ticks in general do. So right, it all comes back to vampires eventually. It's, it's like vagina dentata, like blood sucking tits. <laughs> what? Oh my! <laughs> well, it's, it's a it's a different way of killing somebody during uh, during uh, penetration. Oh, cool. it's definitely a Cinemax movie if I've ever heard one. <laughs> there you go. All right, I'm trying to see you booth the squiggly. Uh, so we do have you have individual booths for this movie? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Do you have the the trailer for this Carmilla adaptation pulled up? Oh, I I already cheated and watched it on mute. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> but, but to be honest, we're kind of we're talking over it, so yeah. Uh, you want to watch it again for me? Well, I, I left it mute because you. You could get a copyright strike potentially. That happened to me once. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you alter the audio, the algorithm has problems. Like I usually change the pitch of any audio I I, I use that's copyright. Uh, yeah, if you do like yeah, like that's how they put Bob's Burgers on sometimes. It's just a little slightly off. Robert's hamburgers. Yeah. Is... It works best with music. If it's speech, it's not as good, but music. Yeah. It yeah, it but it but it makes it a little weird. I mean some some people like to 
I got a lot yeah. of awards this. Sometimes right. you can add an echo and that helps. I don't know. It's a lot of cool stuff. You change a lot of little things that adds up. All right. Are you are you ready? I'm I'm good. We count down? Yeah. Count down. Three, two, one, go. All right. Excellent. What's got a lot of words? I like how the fabrics in this one look very natural as opposed to the other one. It looked like a lot of polyester heavy stuff. Yeah. They're using that milky filter. There. Yeah, yeah. I, I was cool. I, I was, I'm trying to tell if it's English. I think so. I like that because they're going to check it for marks or. Oh. Well, that's a watch, isn't it? Well, that's in. Yeah, this one looks very art house. It looks pretty art house, yeah, but pretty faithful too. Mm -hmm. They're not going for the titillation factor, which is, uh, you know, good. Yeah. They keep it classy. Probably a lot more subtle implied. It's a very, it's more cerebral and, and emotional. I, I, or I can tell. It's less, uh, less, uh, you know, aesthetic. I yeah. can, I can see myself getting into that. Like, I really like period pieces, but the more serious it plays, I, I tend to prefer that. Yeah, me too. Now, uh, if you're wondering about what that neon Carmilla movie bit is all about, uh, there was a Carmilla web series that happened a while back that takes the original story uh, and twists it, a little, twists it a little bit. The main character is a college student in the present day, and mm. Carmilla is her roommate. I don't like it when they do stuff like that. I, I love it though because it's not just a it, it's not just it's not horror it's that's when they were talking about the tick it's more about uh it's actually a romance between the carmilla and the laura characters they make they set it up so you think it's just going to be the carmilla story but hmm. it turns out not to be the villain there turns out to be a bigger threat that they both have to take out so they kind of did the maleficent thing yeah, and they did it well, I think, because mm. they, they managed to take a lot of details from the original story and adapt them for this school setting. Like, all of the, the characters, uh, all the different servants are just Laura's school friends. Hmm. Weird. So you're trying to have some fun with an old idea. That's yeah, all. and they're also like kind of because the whole idea of like the the lesbian vampire thing and Carmilla being killed by the the heroic parents at the end is uh, a little bit homophobic if you're looking at the original text of the novel. But they're trying to undercut that a little bit as well, and I think they do a good job. Hmm. Sort of update it for more modern uh, ideals. Yeah. Okay. So kind of like shooting for a younger audience, possibly. Yeah. yeah sure. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. And it's gotten a huge fan base. It, uh, that Carmilla web series alone has its own conventions now. Hmm. I'm just glad it was actually related to what we were talking about, and I wasn't looking at something that was like completely different, like that Cardi B thing. Yeah, no, it's it's actually, <laughs> it's actually an adaptation, and I love Carmilla it. with booby tassels. 
And then I found out know, later that the whole Cardi B thing, oh no, she did the theme song for the Carmilla Webb series. Oh no, it's legit. <laughs> <laughs> Carmilla wept out. Oh. <laughs> no. Did right? you say wept out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> You just picture that trailer we watched where it's all somber and, and art housey, and then all of a sudden the camera zooms in and she's just like, oh, God! <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah. I can, if, if you want to, if you're ready. Oh, the mayor brings up Daughters of Darkness, which is another movie I love. It's another. Uh, oh, that one's awesome. Sorry, yeah. I mean to be corrupt. I got excited. No, it's no. You have every right to be excited. That's a really good movie. It's another twist on that, mm -hmm. on that style of vampire story. But the 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 Carmilla type character in that is supposed to be Countess Bathory, which I find interesting. Yeah, that got a recent re-release. I forget who it's from, but I'm I'm very keen on getting a copy of that. Me too. Mm -hmm. Me too. Daughters of Darkness? Oh, I'm not familiar. And it's it's very beautiful. It's very artistic the way it's filmed. Because okay. again, I'm like, I'm not a much of a, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not that I'm not into horror, but she, like, this is her specialty. I don't watch horror like her. So like, I'm like, I'm a novice to all that. So like, when I moved in with, with her, like, I've been getting this like, like, I feel like, uh, Crash course. well, like, uh, what's the guy, uh, Johnny five, like input, input, like, it's just <laughs> like, 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 it's, it's been interesting. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, I get that. And the whole live streaming thing too. Like I get a kick out of that. Like, oh, you guys are cool, man. Like yeah, hanging I've, out. Like I've been bombarding him with sub genres and all this other yeah. stuff. Yeah and live streams and like, like it's just like the new Friday thing to do. Like it's, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm doing this in Austin, but even before I got here and I, it's one thing I, cause I remember I used to watch them when I was in North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. And then like now I'm here and it's just, it's um, like a 180, but it's actually a, a 360, right? You kind of go all the way around. Oh, there it is. Blue Underground. That's who's releasing Daughters of Darkness Blue according to the mayor. Oh, sick. I, I do like Blue Underground. Thank you, I do have their version of Deep Red, which is really nice, or one of their re versions of Deep Red. I used to have their re-release, I used to have their release of Maniac, but it wasn't that clean. It was pretty grainy and dirty. I wasn't pleased with it. Ah. Oh, and yeah, Trinchy brings up, I have been reading the Carmilla novel on my channel. I'm like three chapters away from being done with that. Hmm. I've never read that, but I, I randomly remembered the short story. And I don't know if you've read it, The Girl with the Hungry Eyes. I haven't read that. Yeah, that one's, that one's pretty good. It's I, I like how they approach it. It's kind of like a photographer who takes a fascination with this young girl and later realizes that she's a vampire, but by then it's obviously too late. Man, that and sounds pretty cool. There's, yeah. there's a very bad movie based off of that short story by the same title. Yeah, that happens. There's always a, at least one garbage movie adaptation of something. Yeah. Kitty. Oh, I didn't realize the cat was a tuxedo. Yeah, it's uh, Chumpkins. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, yeah, Chumpkins was in here when Gustav was on screen, right? Chump yeah, he, he wanted to hang out, which was yeah. weird. I didn't know it was yeah. cat, and then, like, he was my cat. Yeah, because I, I just thought he was solid black. I've never, I, and I don't even know the gender, sorry. I just, I just yeah, thought it was a solid female. black cat. Oh, he's a little boy cat. Right, I was about to say, that's a... He looked like he looked like a big boy. Yeah. He looked like a big boy with a little boy heart. I like that. <laughs> he needs a little red bow tie. <laughs> he used to have a hat. He's ready for the prom. It smells like good hair talc. He's got the fucking 
He's got Cologne. his Dapper Dan. Yeah, like, look at that. <laughs> I'm a big cat person. I have a cat too. And yeah, I do too. Uh, our, All right, our triple is, the cat power. Our cat is uh, a black cat. His name is uh, Moriarty. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> no, we we took the comedic approach with ours. She's a gray tortie, and her name is Butis, which translates to little bitch. <laughs> like in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Like the Spanish word, can we say that? The, well, no, like, well, the, yeah, I guess. Like, well, he said earlier cussing was okay, but yeah, yeah. I didn't oh, actually. Yeah. Know. But like, booty, oh. Yeah, cussing yeah. Is on here. Yeah, we, we lost her over holiday, and it's funny, the lady who found her, she, it's so hilarious. We still joke about her. She she tells us, I found your pootis. Yeah. <laughs> So, so I like to say, well, geez, I didn't know it fell out. <laughs> uh, I need to, to go grab something, oh. drink, but I will be right back. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. Ah. What Chumpkin. was that? Chumpkin, like Chumpkins is in charge. Chumpkins is on the scene. How old is he? Uh, so 2014. So, yeah, he's like seven, seven years old. Maybe. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's got some puff on him. He's got yeah. old Nick. I've had him ever since a little tiny kitty. Uh, kitty. Hmm. Awesome. Back when his size was Chihuahua. Oh, <laughs> chonkers. <laughs> like when you found blue cheese, right? On your, uh huh. Yeah, well, she was about three to four weeks old when we right? found her. When you found, when you found her, yeah. Which is ironic because we found her on our, on our back porch, literally at death's door. <laughs> at your brother's house. Like, yeah, I wasn't yeah. even there yet. Yeah. Yeah, she was all dehydrated and you could tell she was. She had just opened her eyes because they were still all crusty when little cats first opened their eyes. Getting grossly detailed, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I get it. But it's good though, you know? They, uh, they know when you help them out like that. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm a big cat servant. Like, I'm, I'm all about, like, I don't know, like, like, at first, like, they scratch me and then I feel like they're, like, quote unquote, they're cat. Cat powers. Cat power venom gets in me, and then I just all I want to do is make sure the water's clean and the thing is <laughs> the box is clean, and I pet them and cat gnosis. Cat right, you know what <laughs> I mean? Like it's like it's the only animal that I can get up from my sleep, and I won't be mad. And she scratched me this morning. I remember. She, I remember saying half asleep. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. She'll do that sometimes. Yeah. But I'm not used to her scratching me. She's you're she the probably, one she, she goes after. She, I was probably asleep and too asleep to realize that she probably wanted to get fed. Mm. So the she nice thing about uh, cats is if they do that, they can't really do a whole lot of damage because they're so small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I prefer them to dogs because I never have to worry about like startling them or upsetting them. Right, like you know, like I, like I love dogs too, but I I just they I can be jumpy. I, I I just prefer like the cat. It's you like they take care of themselves in in a in a, in a they're lot, lot of more ways, chill. Right, you can take the dog. It's not about responsibility so much. It's just the cat just has a spell on me. You know? <laughs> Like, mm. like, like when they say, are you a cat person? I go like, I'm like, yes, I just, I, I, cause we have a dog too. And, and I love that dog, but the cat has, I don't, I don't, tr I don't treat them the same, but they're equal, but mm -hmm. like they have different needs and wants. And I just like a cat's braid. I just like a cat's meow. And when a cat goes meow, my ears perk up. Just like when somebody, maybe when they hear a dog, they go, oh, and they go, what a pretty dog. It's like, I'm just. Yeah, I go, hey, little guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, go, I like that, you know, like <laughs> stuff like that, you know. And then the little, and I go like, man, is that what the universe sounds like? You know, like in space, I don't know. Are we just inside a cat's purr vibrating forever when mm -hmm. we're happy, you know? I don't the know. universe Elgato. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me see. Oh, let me see. Sean Urshan was saying earlier, I guess, about bad adaptations. Invasion of the pod people, really bad adaptation of the body snatchers. Have, pod people? Yeah, out of oh, curiosity, no, yeah. have sorry, you ever sorry. seen Puppet <laughs> Masters? That one's based on a, a separate story, but I, I think that one's pretty good. Uh, I have not seen that one. Wait, yeah. Pod People or Puppet Master? Uh, Puppet Masters, well, it, it has a similar theme, so that's why but it is reminded me. Pod People, like the Mystery Science Theater one? I, I'm right thinking something else. I, 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 yeah. I, I Obviously, so. if I'm thinking MS3, like, you know, I'm not thinking right but now. But yeah. Full Moon did uh, their version of it called Seed People, I believe it was called. Hmm. Okay, okay. There's there's three Pod People movies. There's Invasion of the Body Snatchers, with actually mm -hmm. Pod. Then mm -hmm. there's Pod People with Trumpy. Uh, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Now, it's like a uh, Norwegian or, or Swedish uh, film. It, it's foreign. I, I'm not sure from where. In Europe somewhere. Mm. And then oh yeah, um, you know what? Yeah, I, haven't seen I never that really one. like looked at it through a European European lens like that. But yeah, you're right. Yeah. The, oh, no, totally it, it. oh man, it's just over my head. No, yeah. I I haven't seen that one. The one I really liked, yes, the Sean just mentioned it. The one with Donald Sutherland. I love that one. The yeah. thing about awesome. the thing about uh, European pot people, all you gotta know is. It stinks. Oh, it stinks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a little running. Oh, man, don't get me started. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Do you got oh, a white, uh, tight white t-shirt that says you're a virgin if you... If yeah, you, yeah, it's wearing, I'm a vir like, I, oh, man, like, it's... It's a, it's that one and, and Puma Man are right oh, there. Oh, like, jeez. If I could put them all together in one oh, pair, man. I get like, like, but let's, let's, yeah, not, but let's not go Puma there. Man is a total evening killer. We were yeah. watching all these cool movies uh, one night, and then he puts on Puma Man. <laughs> like, instant deflation. Oh, I didn't yeah. want to watch movies anymore. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to take it to this pitch. I don't want to ruin the pace of recording. So please continue with the, the, the subject. You liked, it, you liked it that much, huh? It just blew your mind. It ruined movies. I like a moron. <laughs> Is just the sensible slacks and the belt and and the, the cape vest thing. I mean, forget about it. Yeah, solar trench coat. It's on. It's it's on YouTube for free. You can find it. You can also get it off of really Shop Factory TV. And you, if you're feeling really brave, like go ahead and get just like drink half a six pack and go to town on it, man. Yeah, like if you're a big MST3K fan, Shout Factory does Misty Mondays and they just play episodes all day. It's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's real cool. Could be a theme with me every stream I'm on. I got to mention Puma Man. I'm sorry, Anthro. You heard it last time. The death line. Oh, okay. Well, then I don't feel so bad. I've actually broken my record because. I have a similar thing, except each stream I usually bring up necrophilia. <laughs> it's just her thing. I, I still can't get him to play along with me. He just like, won't do it. Like, don't look at me. I got to live with her. <laughs> <laughs> and throws just there like, what the hell? No, it's fine. Uh, well, when... I was upstairs, I realized that I had just bought another Carmilla adaptation that I had not brought up. So Ooh. I'm wondering if you've seen this one. This is The Blood Spattered Bride. Oh, I haven't seen that. Blood Spattered Bride. It is really good. Uh, it's a very loose adaptation. It is, uh, I think it's a Spanish version, but. Uh, okay. And this, the main character, is named Susan, and she is on her honeymoon at this old castle. And her uh, her husband is uh, a little bit too forward with her and really, really pushy, and she starts to hate him. And then she starts seeing visions of this mysterious woman, who is Carmilla, who starts mm -hmm. telling her to kill him. 
Damn. Yeah. And things just get more vampire from there. And it it's a really gritty grindhouse version of the story. Oh, but wow. it, it's really it's really well done. You said it was Spanish, correct? Uh yes, it's Spanish, but uh Isn't that it's movie we watched from that three pack and out of all of them, it was the Spanish one that was really good. And I I'm just trying to make the I remember it was about the um, at the end, they started. It was like they became like the undead, and they're in that shed, and it was just a. Oh God damn it! Um, fuck. It was Spanish, right? The connection I'm trying to make is I mean, like I can, I, I can cheat. I Spanish can. movies, like even though I'm not into the all child. this stuff, the child. Okay, it was what it was called, and it was Spanish. And it, you're right, like when it, and to go back, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm stuttering, but to go back to Trumpy in a way, like. What is it about the European vision that has, like, it puts a, like it puts a smile on your face, and at the same time you're like you gotta, mm -hmm. like uh, like Anthro just did, like you gotta check this out. And mm -hmm. then we're saying like we're all we talking about is like you gotta check out Euro. Yeah, you know, yeah. You yeah. see what I'm saying? The flavor, the taste, the 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 way it's shot, like the the graininess. They're they're like film wise they're a lot bigger on landscapes than american films like you actually get to see the you, you really want to know my favorite thing about the european uh we've all artists. taken over history yeah. sorry no, i'm artists. enjoying this i agree with you film, film lens is when they shoot all those beautiful scenes but then they, the voiceover almost kind of like makes it kind of weird because it doesn't match what's going on but like that's all you have to kind of follow the movie so you accept it well, I and think so, like almost like this jointedness of knowing they went into the studio and and did the 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 words over the film. Right? Well, like when it's all dubbed over. Like, that's, that, like, that's, that's what I wanted to say. See, I'm not. I don't know the lingo yet. Like dubbed over, they go over. No, it's not so much dubbed. They went back, and they said the words when they filmed it, but they didn't have the. It didn't sound good, so they had to go back to a sound studio and mm -hmm. and they go and they had to say what they say. Like you know what I'm talking. Am I? I don't know how to say it. Mm -hmm. But they read like, because the girl goes, "Oh my god!" But like she's acting all like she's screaming, but the scream is like, "Ah!" <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. And it makes the movie like, and, and it makes and it makes like when they're trying to be emotional, trippy. It makes when they're trying to be like that the, the thrillerness of it mm -hmm. makes it trippy because it doesn't nothing matches. But it makes them if they if you took that away, it wouldn't be like that flavor, right? Right. right. Right, it's it's surreal. It's uncanny. You're not. Oh, yeah. And they and they built and it was a movie built around love because you can tell like this is the much money. This is the, all the money we have to make this. Mm -hmm. You know, and like if we have to use a garbage bag and when they pull his guts out and you can see the but like the blood but the red blood comes out and you're like gosh dang you know like what's that and the guy's going but the guy's screaming his head off on the film but the voice was like. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, Jesus, I go, this is crazy. This is crazy, you know? And right. that's, that's what I get out of it a lot. Yeah. A lot. There's a certain charm to some of these dubs. Mm -hmm. um, it's I often relate it to the earlier uh, Showa versions of uh, the Godzilla films where they had... Yeah. Uh, like, that's a good example, right? Yeah. And I like the word you said, the charm of it. That's the best, like, yeah. you just took everything I said and put it into one... Magic I word. Well, like yeah, charm. I like that. Yeah, the yeah. charm of it. Right. I'll, I'll remember that next time. Uh, the charm of it. Cool. Uh, another, uh, another, a lot of movies that I like that are uh, dubs. Another interesting sort of play to look at for that is the the Dario Argento stuff. A lot of the Italian stuff because mm -hmm. everyone is just speaking their language, whatever they were comfortable with on set, yeah. or dubbing whatever they needed to for whatever country they were in. So no matter where you're watching it, something is going to be dubbed. And it is this really, it just adds to the mm -hmm. really, 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 like, feeling of all his movies that's there anyway. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. The first one that comes to mind is Suspiria. Absolutely. I love, love, love Suspiria. I didn't actually like it the first time I watched it, but that was because mm -hmm. the the copy I had gotten of it, the the print was crap, and half oh. of the charm of Suspiria. Part of it is the Goblin soundtrack, but a lot of it, yeah. those colors, those colors, so vibrant, and uh, it it had just been so faded out and grainy, and it it just didn't oh. have the same power to it. 
See, that's that's actually how I discovered Goblin, and they're they're one of my favorite progressive rock bands now. And then, what what's the other one that you listen to? Is the King what's his face? King Crimson. Yeah, that's why I like him because he reminds me of Goblin. Like they have that progressive. Yeah, yeah. Like opera rock kind of. Well, yeah. Yeah. I presume you've seen Mandy. Mandy. I if it's within the past five to seven years, very likely no. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go grab. I do have my copy of Mandy sitting. Uh, the Nicolas Cage movie. Have you seen that? Mm, no. I, uh, it takes me forever to watch newer stuff unless I'm reviewing it it's for called something. Mandy. It's mm -hmm. called, it's called Mandy. I'll I'll go get my yeah, copy. Like Neil Diamond song. But the, but the movie. Uh, but the movie opens. Uh, the opening credits are set to Starless by King mm -hmm. Crimson. King Crimson ah. is awesome, says Sh oh, Soulless like, Trench Coat. Um, Starless, yeah. Starless and Bible Black. Da -da -da. Like, oh, dude, don't get me started. You started yourself, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but yeah, uh, when uh, a few years ago, I went to see. Uh, Claudio Simonetti has his own sort of Claudio Simonetti's Goblin lineup now, which is not the original Goblin. It's basically his own band performing Goblin's music, but mm -hmm. they performed the whole Suspiria soundtrack live with the film playing in the background. And I, I went to see that and it blew my mind. Yeah, they, they have a branch off with some of the original members that I remember seeing them performing here in Austin a couple of years back. And I um, I grabbed a double disc copy of the, the branch off band, but I'm, I'm not too, like it doesn't deter because they, they sounds pretty much the same. Yeah, they do. Uh, and when they finished doing Suspiria, they did a whole set of songs from other movies, which was insane they did uh they did demons they did mm -hmm. uh they did dawn of the dead uh they did a bunch of stuff and it was insane well they only scored i think the european version i think the american version has a different soundtrack or a film score if i remember correctly yeah they uh when when they took it to europe argento was like this needs a different soundtrack i'm gonna get god to do it and it's going to be amazing and then Romero heard that and he was like you know what this is better and then they I think they released it again in the U.S. with the Goblin soundtrack mm -hmm. yeah I think I think it's out of print but there there was a double disc version of that the the UK version man we got to watch that uh listen do that vinyl Sunday again and listen to the Goblin you have a live one right mm, that was a CD oh that was a CD okay but you got the uh, a soundtrack, right? Mm -hmm. right Four of a kind, I think it Four was called. Nice, dude. Nice. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with you, Sean, for jamming out to the Tsunami soundtrack. That that is incredibly groovy. Uh, I like Tenabre. Yeah. The the ending, the first time I saw it, surprised the hell out of me. Where. The thing with the main heroine, but if no one out there has seen it, I don't want to wreck it. Right? No. If I mean, you don't spoil the end of uh, a Giallo movie for for anybody out there who hasn't seen it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh man! Oh, my back hurts. Uh, I'm I'm going to be right back. I have two things that I want to show you. After this anthro, he'll be right back. <laughs> Just zipped off super quick. He'll be back in two minutes and two seconds. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. Oh, I like that. Two minutes, two seconds. First time I ever heard that saying was Pulp Fiction. I just ordered pizza so my endorphins just kicked in. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, pizza would be so good. Yeah, it's 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 one of those kind of Fridays. I haven't had like real like pizzeria pizza in Ooh. so long since last year, actually, since last Halloween. Mm. 
It's uh, before I move, I'm going to have one last pizza from the pizza place down the street because their pizza is like phenomenal. Ah. The one I've always wanted to try out, and I can't remember what it's called, but it has kind of like a very thin pretzel type crust to it. Was that from Little Caesars, the uh, pretzel, the, the pretzel pizza? Uh, we, we have a, um, I haven't tried Little Caesars, but I, we have kind of like an independent pizzeria here. And they, they, that's the only kind of crust they use. I, uh, it's not Neapolitan, that's ice cream. I, I can't remember what it's Bavarian. called. It's a Bavarian crust because it's pretzel. Mm. Oh, okay. See, I'm, I'm not that, that knowledgeable. So I work in many restaurants, or I have, so, yeah. Very, mm. very, I believe, is what they call it. Um, yeah, so it's good. Uh, you moving? Yeah, a couple of years you, ago, you used to have one. Had, like, this nacho cheese sauce, and they'd put pepperoni. Yeah, like, yeah it would be, like, pretzels and nacho cheese. Like, yeah, nacho cheese sauce. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Yeah. The salt on the crust, and like you'd think it wouldn't be good, but oh, it's delicious. I wish it was their regular item, I'd still be ordering it. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so the mayor brought up uh, Fabio Frizzi, and I have seen City of the Living Dead, and I love the soundtrack oh. of that movie. Yeah. <laughs> All those Italian. That guy's name. Okay. I can't remember his stinking name right now, but I know Tarantino referenced him in one of his movies. But City of the Living Dead, is that the, that's the international one, right? Tenebre? No, Tenebre is an Ten Italian film. Tenebre. <laughs> oh, that's an R. Man, I need to go get my, <laughs> Gotta get my eyes checked. What is Jeez. Hugo Stiglitz? It wasn't coming to me. Is that the one with Stiglitz. Hugo Stiglitz in it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they referenced him in Inglorious Bastards. It, that's his last name, right? Yeah, right? yeah. I'm not Stiglitz. making it up. Yeah, yeah. Stiglitz. It just sounds. I like that. Man, some people get the cool last names. Yep. Do you think they called them chicklets in high school? Chicklets. Chicklets, like the gum. Like yeah, like that gum that looked like teeth. Ugh. Yeah, chicklets. Yeah, like didn't Dennis the Menace use that to like? Fix a Mr. Wilson's dentures because he broke them, and the dentist and yeah, well, the man. Yeah, and he, yeah. And he opens like up Matthew. the box and he actually finds a little pack of chiclets uh. and the four pack, right? And he shoves them in there because <laughs> he gets the white ones, and he's all like, "Dude, I'm straight, right?" And, he, and can you imagine? You know, he's like six years old, and he's like, "Yeah, he looks like he looks skin," and he puts it back in there, and he put, and when he pops them in there, if he takes a picture because his prized plant is about to like. You like, remember that movie way better than I do. See, the thing is, I haven't watched it in a long time, but like since I'm talking about it, I didn't know I remember this much myself. Oh, it's a memorable movie. I, I have it on high quality VHS in the giant thick clamshell Disney case that they used to put yeah. those things in. Mm. Ethel Cross, we need to go bowling. That's what we need to do. <laughs> oh, totally. I used to be on the league. I'm a very good bowler. Oh, wow. Oh, awesome. oh, geez, there, there you go. Like, man. I even have my own balls, uh, bowling balls. I mean, let's, let's not talk about balls. Um, well, I, I totally had to cover my mouth. Ball. Super cool, man. See, like, 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 bonus 100 points for me, man. Uh, Mark's Monsters mentions Bird with the Crystal Plumage. That's one Bird of the first the Giallos I ever saw. That one's awesome. That's just a cool sounding title. They that, they always come up with crazy names like that. Like that uh, sounds like a cool like like album name. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. A lot of the, like the like the early Argento stuff, like Bird with the Crystal Plumage, Four Flies on Gray Velvet, all these really yes. yeah. titles. Uh, what is the other one? Your oh, God damn it! The name's so long, but uh, your something is a locked room, and only I have a have the key. I, I love that title, but I'm I'm totally pooping all over it right now. I just can't remember it. Poop. Uh, I'm gonna have to Google it, and it's gonna drive me nuts.
your vice is a locked room and only I have the key. That's what it is. Interesting. You're, oh, man. Right, Mayor, that's- I love the title. You, you know, not, not to get weird, speaking of like, I, what was it called? Your vice is a locked room. And I only have the key. Not to get all weird, but I, I was reading a news article. They're creating a chastity belt for men that is Bluetooth. Con so, so I can control it through my phone and you they, and the other person would wear it all day. Because they used to have one that looked like a bird cage and you just wear it on your wiener. But it's something like that, but it's like electronic. And so like it's all Bluetooth connected. So I'm the person in control of it and you wear it all day like at work. And I could like, I'm Fudge the only that. one who has a control of like unlocking it. But what's the difference? What if you lose your phone and I got a pee? Well, what if the person who had it in the old school way lost the key? What if he got killed and he never came back and he never let his wife out of it? Well, just like, I love you. So what am I so afraid of? You know, like, what are we talking about here? Anyway, I, like, I'm just making a point. You said the key in the lock and I was just like, oh, I just read an article. And they're saying like I how, think we're weirding them both out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. About I've I've never heard of that. Yeah. Of that. The, the the modern the modern marvels of technology. Yeah. Can now yeah. wirelessly through an app. Yeah, we're really going back to the moon now. Amazing. Amazing. Ooh, pieces. I haven't seen that one. I have a copy of it. I never. Oh, oh pi no, I thought it was pieces. Pi Pisces? Pisces? I'm wearing glasses and I'm reading it wrong. Uh, where? where? So I'm, I'm, trench coat so right under my first Galileo, the mare. My first Galileo. Giallo. Um, my first Giallo is, Whoa. I think you meant pieces. Man, my Giallo means yellow. Yeah, it's it's after the like the yellow covers of the mystery novels, the early Italian mystery novels, I believe. I, I thought it was oh. the edging they would put nice, on the pages. Fiend. Nice. Good like you might be right. close, the edging would be yellow. You might be right about that, but I know it had to do with the the novels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pisces. I thought it was going to be about the Zodiac killer. I was all interested. <laughs> See, I misread there it as go. pieces, and I got all excited. Yeah, no, pieces. Okay, great, great, great. No, 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 we're all typing. We're not good. I was just excellent, excellent. All right. Uh, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> if you're curious, this is Mandy. This is the crazy Nicolas Cage movie I was talking about. Is yeah. it new or old? I, I've seen the cover around. Yeah, this came out just uh, just a few years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I guess saying new and old is not a good way to describe it, but like, what is the yeah, year? I'm sorry. This came out uh, 2018, I think. Okay. But it, but it's 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 set in the 80s, and it's uh it's okay. very very arty, but it also has an amazing sense of humor. Awesome, because I because I, I love Nick Cage, but um, I was born in the early 80s, very early 80s. So like my so my Nick Cage catalog is is tied to like that Brockheimer type late uh, '90s action. So like anything past like nine the '90s is almost like a different kind of Nick Cage career to me, and that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, because Cage went through a stinker period too. I remember that. Well, he I mean, a man wanted some work, and I get that. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he, he, had, he had like some financial issues. Yeah, yeah. I remember hearing hearing about that back in the day. So like this, like nothing like desperation to change your, your artistry. And I and and that looks like a cool anthro. I think I might have to, we're gonna write that down, Mandy. Yeah, that, that is a good one. Uh, that one I believe is on Shutter for anyone who has that, but it's also just available to, to rent most places. Yeah. Insects are animals. Yes, they are. No, I was just reading that. I was like, I have no idea what you guys were talking about in the chat. Yeah, like, you want to talk about an album name? Oh, yeah. Uh, Mare was talking okay. about... Like, uh, like insects or animals. Right. Uh, Argento's Animal Trilogy, because he was just like, oh, uh, with four flies are on gray velvet. Uh -huh. Oh, although technically flies are insects, but they're still called a part of the Animal Trilogy. Fly uh, an insects are animals? What are you talking about? Was uh, the one with Jennifer Conley part of that? The Phenomena, I think it was called? Phenomena. That, <laughs> that, was, uh, that was later Argento. 
Okay. Uh, that is one of my favorite Argento movies. That is a that is a really really beautiful atmospheric movie. Mm -hmm. It's plot wise, mm -hmm. it gets a little weird, but I like that. I like that. Valley Girls. Yeah, that was one of Cage's early films. Oh look, like it's eighties. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I was born in eighty one. We're old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it happens to the best yeah. of us. Right. Yeah, right? we're, yeah, we're coming cool. up on our early forties. We've been around right. a while. <laughs> I'll, I'll snap. I'll cat snuggle to that. I'm I'm determined to to no longer age past thirty seven. So for the oh. rest of my life, I'm just thirty seven. Valley see girl. If, see if vampires were real, I would have kicked one's butt for not having turned me at age twenty five. I think that's perfect because you're not too old, you're not too young, and you still have privileges of driving and everything else. Right. I'm just gonna refuse to age. That's that's. I'm on strike. I refuse to age. I'm just like no. I'm not gonna do it. No, this isn't happening to me. No. 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 I like Chuck that. Tesla. Chuck Tesla. <laughs> but yeah, but my favorite Nick Cage movie, uh, Raising Arizona. I haven't seen that. Cohen, one. like hands down. Um fantastic movie like, yeah, but i love con air too but like the but just for I like face off but like but like, what when about it, next? like uh nick cage acting and 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 delivering a line like raising arizona has it like put the bunny down well, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah you know what see i'm like you're right like i'm putting like i'm throwing stones in a glass house yeah I'm saying like, nah, 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 nah. like no, 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 like but you're right, you're right, you're right. Ethel was mentioning oh. this when I just didn't, I didn't manage to hear her. Yes, yes. Next. Yes. I'm mentioning next. Got to mention next. next. Uh, yes, that next. one's pretty cool. It's a sci-fi one. We have that one with uh, Jennifer Beals, the chick with the knockers and the great body. Is that past the night? Because that's like to go back again. If it's past the nineties, I don't like. I no, never... it's nineties. Next. It's very, yeah, it's nine, like 90, 98 or ninety-nine or something like Man. that. Hold on. Am I the shittiest Nick Cage fan in the world? Hold on. Right here, right here. It's this one right here. You've probably recognized the cover. Next. Uh -huh. It's like Joe Cadillac, I think that's what he used to sell. You know, you know what the... the, the I think, Johnny Cadillac? I haven't seen that movie in a while. The which one? Next. Next. Yeah, I remember... I don't think it's that bad, but I remember getting it from FYE on clearance for three bucks. It's cool. It's got Peter Falk in it very briefly. Uh, Columbo's in there very briefly. Hmm. I'm a big Columbo fan, so that means a lot to me. I don't know if any of you are big Columbo fans. I, I sure am. You want to talk about as Julianne Moore in it, the naked chick from the Lebowski no. movie. Like, but like, no, I didn't. I think the last, like, I think one of the early yeah. movies I've seen him do was I watched Ghost Rider. I think a piece uh. of it, and I kind of went, whoa. Yeah. I feel so. Have, uh, have you ever seen Vampire's Kiss? That's got Nicolas Cage. Yes, I love that. Oh, I, I'm, I'm lying. What's the one where he played like there's a witch in a cage and he has to bring it to some place? That one was God cool. Damn it. I've seen that one. Fuck. That one was cool. That one, I'm no, I'm lying. Like that, I did. It I, reminds me of Witchfinder General, but the name isn't clicking. Like it's, but it has something to do with the witch. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It was on Netflix back. We we've, uh, we've all totally commandeered the stream. Sorry. No, it's it's fine. I, I would like to, to break for a moment because uh, the mayor asked if I'm holding a Suspiria CD. Mm -hmm. uh, I brought this down because this is the uh, season of the witch. Thank you. Yep. This yes. is the, uh, this is uh, Claudio Simonetti's Goblin, the music for a witch tour CD. This is what they were selling when I saw them do Suspiria. I got it signed by all of the band members. It was oh. amazing. Uh, and it's got uh, the themes from Suspiria. Deep Red, uh, Opera, Demon, Phenomena, right down, right down to uh, Mother of Tears, which I haven't seen. I've heard it's, it's not, not that great. Yeah, I've heard it's not great, but I love I love the theme from 
Mother of Tears just because mm. it's got Danny Phil from Cradle of Filth on it, and they're one of my favorite bands. Mm. Uh, but but yeah, uh, I I saw them live and it was awesome, and I just wanted to to share this. Mm. Very cool. Thank you. But we've we've been totally blabbing the whole time. I think we should we should give you to the floor. I'm sorry. Oh no, it, it's fine. You've been. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm now. I don't even know what to say. Uh, <laughs> I like your hat. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Uh, the mayor says his DVD copy of Suspiria came with the soundtrack. Uh, awesome. I got a the Suspiria Steelbook from one of my friends. I won it in his contest, and it also came with the soundtrack, which was awesome. Oh, okay. Has anybody listened to the Thom York version of the soundtrack when, of the remake? Right? Because I think he did the music. Thom I used to be. I, I'm a, I, like I like Radiohead, so. Uh, yes, he did. Yeah, I've listened I, to it right. a little bit. It was really pretty. I'm not right. gonna lie. I couldn't sit through the Suspiria remake because the body horror got too much for me. I, I've I, been avoiding it. I've never seen the first. See, I've never seen any Suspiria. The only um, I just know about this um, the soundtrack and because I, I like Thumb York. Right. But, I, I uh, heard the original Suspiria soundtrack before I even watched the movie. But uh, hmm. one of my friends lent me a copy of the remake a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, it it was solid. It was good filmmaking, but uh, there's a scene where there's some some serious contortion and bone breaking happening, and it was not mm. fun. I couldn't sit through it. It was bad. Mm. But but I need to watch the first one. Yeah, you do. It's a good. Yeah, it's, I do. Like it's, yeah, I it's hear. buried somewhere in the stacks. Yeah, you know, it's it's a it's a weird one. If you're not used to Argento's style, it might be oh, jarring, yeah. but it's good. It's really good. I, I, I love it how they were playing off the whole fairy tale element and the, the cinema fantastique, as they call it. Yes. The, I mean, yeah, Ar Argento even was like, to the filmmakers, he pulled up uh, the original Disney Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and he was like, mm -hmm. this is the color palette for this movie. Yeah, but... Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but I think it, it it took a while for the movie to grow on me, but I think that's kind of what Rob Zombie was trying to play off of in House of a Thousand Corpses when he was he was doing all of the red light and you finally meet Dr. Satan and all, and all of that. Uh, probably, probably. I probably went left field, sorry. No, no it's fine. Uh, it, that wouldn't be the first thing that would come to mind when it when I think of Argento influence, but I can mm -hmm. see that. It, it's just because of the setting with a, th a thousand corpses and stuff like that. Obviously things like Texas Chainsaw are gonna come to mind mm -hmm. first. Yeah, like the Alice in Wonderland's pretty obvious. The but yeah. there he makes a lot of film references and I, I wasn't as into film back then when I saw it the first time. So it, it wasn't until years later that I was really into movies and I'm like, oh, I see your references now. I'm like, okay, your movie's not that bad. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know what I was looking at. Right. Like uh, you have to do the in-joke to get the film. Hmm. Right. I don't think I caught all of Argento's references in the movie, but I still really appreciated it just because it does follow that fairy tale sort of formula in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. The the one that I thought was really cool and I didn't catch the reference until way after was the Devil's Rejects after they had been gunned down and you've got that long pan out of the road. That's that's the intro to the shining. Oh interesting. Yeah it is Took me a while to touch that one. Uh, like, like serpentine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the winding road. Right. And that, then it uh, goes into the sky. 
that intro to The Shining, that's something else, though. If you look at it and, like, uh, you're in any kind of altered state, I don't know, uh, you know, whether it be alcohol or what have you, but I uh-huh. remember one of the times I'd watch that, and uh, those pine trees were awfully trippy. <laughs> hey, that aerial camera shot. It was a whole other, uh, it's a whole other thing, let me tell you. I it, it's hard for me to choose between the two. I don't know if, if either of you have seen the the mini series, but the Kubrick one is very cerebral. I really like that. Whereas he, he plays off of metaphor more than anything else, and the mini series is more plays straight to the book. So it's you get more of the haunted house type elements. I, I don't know if either of you have a preference. Uh, I'm not gonna lie the. The Cooper movie didn't click with me the first time I saw it mm-hmm. because I had just read the book and I was in that mindset and I was like, this is supposed to be one of the greatest horror films of all time. The book is so disturbing. I was ready for something that wasn't this cerebral slow burn. So yeah, yeah. It, it didn't sit well with me. Uh, and I, I was kind of just let down by it. But looking back on it, I appreciate it a lot more for what it is. I, I had the same thing. I used to treat it as one of those boring movies I would watch to put me to sleep when I couldn't go to bed. <laughs> it's uh, it's one of those that also took a while to grow on me. Yeah, yeah. I guess uh, I'm a little on this. Uh, I'm with the Kubrick. I mean, I really, uh, I guess, I mean, because it was my first exposure to that whole uh, story was the film and not the book, but. Right. Yeah. I think um, if I had seen the film first, it would have uh, it would have clicked a lot more with me instantly. But I read the book first, so I was expect I had that expectation set up for me. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, it's totally different if you've already read the book and you're thinking, okay, in the book, this mm-hmm. is what happens, and this is how I've pictured this scene in my imagination. And of course, right. no matter what you do on film, it isn't going to be the same as your imagination. See, like, I want to say, like, I not not I didn't read any of the Twilight books, but I was around during that big phenomenon when it happened, when it was really big, and I went to go see that movie with somebody who had de- so it was it, who did read the book, mm-hmm. so it was it was very interesting to see just as Cross brought up to see it on their face, like their imagination coming, and then they're kind of like to see them like struggle with it and art and actually kind of but like see what they want to see regardless of what was on the silver screen. So like the vampire, the silver screen, it, the, it, well, silver means moon. And it was just, it was very interesting to see, like I never went to a movie where people actually went woo and like kind of like were excited. Like when I, the credits, I, like- I saw that at the end of Sleepwalkers actually, when I saw that in theater, like group of people got up and cheered. But like, but like in unison, it made me feel like, man, I only heard like people cheer like this, like in, like I guess like if somebody's doing sports or something, like they were like when 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 the lights went dim and stuff like that, I was just like, man, and I, like it was in a small town, mm. and that's the thing, it was it was very interesting to see, um, that on on the faces, how it translates, right, right, and to wait in line, I go out, like in, coming from a small town, I go, I never stood in line to go watch a movie before, like Ninja it was, Turtles. It was, it was like <laughs> it was a, a, a very interesting to be a part of, even if you didn't weren't into the, you like you couldn't be helped but be wrapped. It's the same thing with Harry Potter, like it, like it's the same thing, like you you couldn't help but get wrapped up into it. Mm. Like, so great, you like, know, it's gonna, be, it's gonna like you're gonna see the stuff at the store, you're gonna see it everywhere. It's gonna, like just like it was Edward, Edward, Edward. Now, it fast forward, it was Harry, Harry, Harry. And anyway, I didn't, I just wanted to. I'm, I'm team Edward, but that's Edward James almost. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pop, pop culture icon, is uh, is basically what it is, is it's just uh, All right. Devour everything within that scope of uh, what the public knows and sees. So even if you're not excited or into it, it just mm-hmm. sort of takes you in. But it shows mm-hmm. that magical link between the book and the screen, mm-hmm. how they go hand in hand. They're like, I don't know, I don't know if they're brothers and sister or more like like cousin and cousin. How far away are y'all? But at the same time, 
there's on the tree, you guys come together somewhere in the story. I, I would go as far as saying maybe they're just more like secret lovers. There's something on the sly there, but there are some right. similarities. Like some people use it for a little, like to, for love and some people be like, hey man, we can make some money. But the book and the silver screen, well, what an interesting pair. It makes, it like, it, it's like, uh, like, like, like the primordial gods coming together and making children or titans, you know? The titans of the Marvel movies, the titans of the Harry Potter movies, the titans of the, you know, the movies that have like seven parts and stuff, you know? Right. Um, like, it, it, with my friend group when I was younger, for a long time, uh, our whole thing was Harry Potter, but at, there was a point in time where it shifted and it was all about Percy Jackson for a little bit. Okay, okay. I never read those. No, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Who's that, that was the big thing. Yeah, the, those, uh, the movies didn't really live up to the books in that case, but uh, we all loved that. And for the longest time, like, we would all, like, pretend we were wizards and do the whole Harry Potter thing. But then that all shifted, and we, we had to pick which Greek god we were descended from, and that was the okay. whole thing in our friend group. That half reminds me of the kind of like the battle between uh, Star Wars and Trekkies. Are you Lord of the Rings or are you Harry Potter? Uh, for the longest time, it was. It was Alfred brought that up. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the Lord of the the Lord of the Rings trilogy are my favorite movies of all time that aren't horror films. I would say. Um, uh, Lord of the Rings is is I I, would I have, love those. Yeah. yeah. I, I read this the all three books. I haven't gone into the the earlier stuff, it's like of, the Battle for Middle Earth or any of that. It's like Lord of the Rings is what is is about the world to me, and Star Wars is about the infinite space to me. So I have the above as below kind of thing. Right. I thank uh, God for them. Right. Uh, Luke is, is above, right. and then Tolkien is the below. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> over here. You know. Right. I, I just. I wasn't I wasn't into uh, the Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings, so I guess I'm Team Legend. I, I just I'm still stuck back in the '80s. I got I got Tim Curry as a devil. That's that's, I, what I I love love that's, cool. like, that's the only devil you need. No, no, you're right. That's you're right. that's a handsome devil. Too. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, most characters are handsome when Tim Curry plays them. Like, mm -hmm. right? Like, eternal eternal punishment look good. <laughs> like, uh, it's like that meme. You can tell what type of a person someone is by the Tim Curry films they can name that they've seen. Right, right. Uh, speaking of Tim Curry, I mm -hmm. mean, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but I've been kind of playing around with the idea of streaming worth pitch around Halloween or pretty close to there, if not on Halloween. Uh, I don't know if anyone's seen that. It's a made-for-TV movie with Tim Curry. Big fan. I might be streaming that. Yeah, I missed that. I, I didn't catch the title either. I'm sorry. Uh, worst Witch. Oh, the yeah. Worst Witch. I've heard of that, but I haven't seen it. Okay, so <laughs> hold on. Give, give me a moment. Give me a no, moment. No, no, we can't. Uh, uh, with this. I have to do this. Anthro. You'll be right back. Well, just really quick, oh. French says Willow as well, one of the original feminist movies that wasn't preachy. What Interesting. Do you, think? Uh, you know what? It, it, it evolved around uh, uh, a, a flame-haired baby or the, the Babylon. And like, the Scarlet Woman. But like in, in all her, like she's here to liberate the world, right? Mm. Like it, like the crone, like the crone is at the end of her moon and there's always a new moon, right? Anyway, I'm sorry. But yeah, I, I get that. You know what? I never thought about it like that. Yeah, I'd have to go back and watch it's it. All, I haven't seen all, it since I was a, a kid. It's about a, a girl, a woman. When, like the women are in power. The, the woman is a general. Man, Morgan has to dress up like a woman. Dude, he's right. It's Joan of Arc. Anthro, you look delighted. Are you looking at oh, some fun like right now? Holy crap. All right, so uh, there's a whole thing with this. Uh, one of my, my friends, Ben Grimm, uh, uh -huh. who is like everywhere on horror YouTube, he's uh, part of my Discord server. 
and he has certain things that he like likes to put down. One of those things is Rocky Horror, and mm -hmm. uh, he just posted randomly one day uh, in, in the chat just a link to Halloween song from the Worst Writ, which with the caption underneath it, better than all of Rocky Horror. And Anything is possible on Halloween. I agree. Yeah. And I listened to the whole song and I was just like, okay, this music is good. I like Tim Crary. What are these lyrics? What is this? Has anybody seen my tambourine? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, if anyone hasn't listened to Halloween song from The Worst Witch, it's, it's, it's an experience. <laughs> you... I okay, that settles it. I am streaming this movie on Halloween. I don't think I'm doing anything else. Awesome. That 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 tears it. Yeah, I mean, anything gonna happen on Halloween. Got it. Got to happen. Yeah, it's got to happen. Yeah, Trenchy's totally down for that. Yep. I, I honestly don't know what I'll be doing on Halloween this year. I'm sure a lot of people on YouTube will be doing a lot of things, especially in the horror community. So, um, yeah. But uh, I will at least say hi if you're you're doing your worst witch stream. And, uh, you know. Right. You got, we have to trick or treat it at each other's streams, especially what's going on right now, right? Absolutely. Nobody, like, that's what sucks. Like, nobody's going to go around. You can't, man. <laughs> like, like you, that's the thing. You have to go trick or treat virtually. Trick or treat. And then, like, um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's a virtual yeah. trick or treat. Like, that's what, that's what you're, guys should, you should you're do. Going for, to, what you're proposing is stream hopping. Like, that's what, what? I'm saying. Like, everybody's that's actually a brilliant idea. Instead of, like, a, instead of right? like a channel crawl series of streams on Halloween and everybody can go trick-or-treating from stream to stream, that would be amazing. Right, right. That would be cool. You guys have the community for it. I don't know why you guys can't. That's well, kind of neat. Gory's usually the one that puts the crawl stuff together, but I, I know that's it's a doozy for her to put together. Yeah, I mean, that that was how I found the community initially, so I'm really grateful for it, but it cannot be easy to network with that many people and put all, to synthesize all of that. Yeah, it's rough. No doubt. Like, uh, I participated in year one, and I, I had a hard time watching every single live stream. I probably just popped in, in and out, but I was intermittently there because i'm just saying like i'm not into the horror movies but if i was just a, a bloke on youtube and i saw the, I would, i'm like i'd be like these guys are cool like i would like just stick around and like what's going on with this stream and yeah that's how i discovered a lot of other channels right? yeah it's a lot I mean, of people. yeah i wasn't familiar with uh most people who i'm friends with now uh in mm -hmm. school uh the horror show were like we're gonna be doing uh, we're going to be participating in the creepy channel crawl with the horror addicts and all of this. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I checked out their segment. And then right after that, I hopped over to uh, the movie boys channel and Queenie was there and Dave Maggot was there and a bunch of people yeah. there. And uh, I wasn't able to watch everyone's streams, but I went back and made sure I was subscribed to everyone who was there and just started checking out everybody's stuff. Yeah. That's a trick or treat treat. It's like if you're not subscribed, like just do it. If you are, well, great. Then you don't get a, a trick, right? Yeah. <laughs> that, that sounds a bit prostituting. Yeah. <laughs> and right after I did that, I was like, there, there are people who are like, uh, there was a whole segment that was just like, uh, like early horror and I think it was angsty madness and the captain Meinstein show. And both of them were like really, really young. And I was like, these kids are younger than me. And uh, <laughs> I've been wanting to do a YouTube channel for years. What am I waiting for? So the, the creepy mm -hmm. crawl is the reason this YouTube channel exists. Creepy crawl. So yeah, really, yeah. Like, Oh, that I participated in year one. I wasn't there for two. That's what I'm saying again. Like I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a novice. Like I've never 
creepy crawl. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah the, the concept came from the idea of bar hopping. <laughs> creepy crawl. Wow. And you like you guys really take care of yourselves. I like that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, the mayor says check check out the video from Tim Carey called "I Do the Rock." He actually did an entire rock album back in the eighties. I have heard that Tim Curry had a music career separate from all of his other stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, apparently one of his songs that came out before uh, Werewolf of London has the same riff in it. Mm. So I don't know. Plagiarism, I don't know. I haven't heard the song yet, but one of my friends tells me that Werewolf of London ripped off one of Tim Curry's songs. So I'll have to see if this is true. Right. Uh, well, that sucks. Well, I like that song. Well, maybe it's actually like... Yeah. Like, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love Werewolves London. So mm -hmm. I sing that song to my cat all the time. <laughs> I change it to Chumpkins of London now. <laughs> He's not a wolf. He's cat. Yeah. I like the uh, the meatloaf Rocky Horror Picture Show song. Oh, uh, when he comes in with the water, like, yeah, he comes through the wall, man. <laughs> and he's all like, hey, hey. And he's just like, and then he starts saying, like, my patootie, huh, patootie. And I was just like, this is, <laughs> and he has like the little twisty hair. What is it called? The pompadour. pompadour. Yeah, right. He looks like Ricky from, from a trailer park boys. And, oh, he's, a, and he's talking about patootie. Like, I like, that's my favorite song. Messed up that they eat him later on in the film, huh? Well, hot patootie, think about it. He's talking about some awesome ass. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, they yeah, play in the movie. Into me. yeah. That's the best part of it. Yeah. You know why they call him Meatloaf originally? Because uh, no. uh, back in college, back before he was a big star, he, uh, on a bet, he let them run over his head with a. Oh, geez. Uh, what? But. Like this guy slowly drove his Volkswagen bug over Meatloaf's head, and they said he had to have Meatloaf for brains to do that. Well, that's nuts. So he called really? himself. Somebody ran over his head, and he's. I've never heard that because I. We did it, but what was the what was the make of the car again, though? It was a Volkswagen Beetle. Oh, okay, like well, like uh, the same thing as uh, Ted Bundy. Mm-hmm. Right? Wait, what? The Ted, Ted Bundy. Bundy. Like, he, he drove a Volkswagen he dro Beetle He drove also. a Volkswagen Beetle for his Oh, victim. I thought you meant like somebody drove a, a Volkswagen Beetle over <laughs> Ted Bundy's head, too. I'm like, oh, my <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure, like, the, the make of the car and the weight, and, and in my head, see an actually Volkswagen Beetle go over, Meatloaf, like, a human head, and then him come out the other end and say, like, hot patootie, I'm okay, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know if either of you have seen it, but the VH1 had put out a TV movie, which was a biopic about Meatloaf. And it wasn't, it, it was sensationalized, of course, but uh, to me, it's crazy that they didn't mention something like that. Uh, like they talked about how he was part of the cast of Hair and all this other stuff. But it, it didn't touch on, wow, that's just that's nuts to me that someone would let someone do that to So them. that's confirmed, a, back, a Volkswagen Beetle backup over Meatloaf's head. And then that makes him the artist we like we appreciate today. That's so, where he know. got the nickname, back from his college days. Like that was his initiation. See, I always thought it was because he was, was chunky ritual. as a kid and he's still a heavy set guy. Right. Yeah. Black rubber skull. How are you going to call yourself Meatloaf and not release an album called Bacon Wrapped? I just don't know. <laughs> like, how are you going to have a name like Meatloaf and not have like a secret recipe in the inner liner notes of your album? That's what I want to know. Like, I just thought he would let his mama's Meatloaf recipe be out there in the world. I mean, but maybe not, play this record See, I didn't discover him until. Bad Out of Hell 2, and then I just totally went nuts. Like, I picked up Bad Out of Hell. My brother had given me on vinyl Dead Ringer. 
Uh, I also had a copy of Jim Steinman's um, Bad for Good. So I, I loved all of that Is stuff. Is Meatloaf like Ozzy's feminine side? No. But He's like, the artistic side. But like, but the album covers were the same with the monsters on top of a cathedral, right? Didn't Meatloaf have something where he was like on a dragon's body or some kind of monster body? That was Ozzy. But like Meatloaf didn't do the same thing. Like Bad Out of Hell, it wasn't. But he had the that same. Was, no. it, was a, it was a larger than life theme, but it was it's rock opera. Is what it yeah, is. but like it's the same artistry, right? Didn't, no. Didn't, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't Bad Out of Hell feature like a motorcycle and. Uh, there's like a girl pointing, right? No, that's ultimate sin. God dang it. I'm, I'm like ah, crossing so my... Cool. Right. Mm. I mean, uh, a lot of those classic metal artists do share a lot of that bombastic image. Right, right. Like, you know, you want to get the artist that's going to get the job done at that particular time. I get that. Right. But he did a voice singing in Sausage Party. Did, am I reading that right? Why? Is that that movie was like... I never saw it, but he, he was also in the Tenacious D movie. I know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. With a motorcycle shooting out of the grave, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. See, also, I, 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 I put a, sorry. Fight Club also? Yes. Sorry, I'm, I'm like, I'm all drunk and I'm super excited. I apologize. That's okay. I've had a few beers as well. All right. Yes. I'm I'm probably being the annoying guest, and I'm I'm sorry. No, you're not being annoying at all. Uh, I might want to get off pretty soon, though. Honestly. Excellent. <clears throat> yeah, in, in the, a pro I keep at three eleven. <laughs> Is there a band called Three Eleven? I don't. Whoa! And this color yeah. of your energy. Amber is the color of your energy. Something like that, right? Yeah, 311. The yeah. that too was. Uh, before we before we get off, is there anything else anybody wants to to say or talk about? Someone different. <laughs> um, I had something, but it's gone. I I don't remember what it was. Mm. Ah, uh, well, I think I'm going to end the stream here. So thank you to everyone who came. Uh, we had an awesome time watching the, the movie and great time talking. Uh, yeah, thanks for being here. This was excellent. Yep. Anthro is a pleasure. And thank you for your time and energy and effort. And yep. we always appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for yours. And thank, thank you, you for everyone. having me. And thank you for your patience. I'm sorry. No, my pleasure. My pleasure. But thanks for having me on. Uh, always, always, always great to be uh, to be on the stream. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll Love do it. it. Yeah, I'm I'm planning to do another watch stream at some point. I'll probably try to mix up what guests I have on a little bit, but I'll bring back a few other people. So, yeah, I'll I'll let everyone know when that happens. So, thanks again. Thanks for being here, and take care, everyone. Bye. Adios. Good night.